which is said to an empty room. Why, why are you not playing? Why are you synchronizing cloud? Do it. No. Uh, did I tweet it? I did tweet it. I did tweet it. Kefels expo. Oh, there's a Kefels video. Justifying the sorting. See, I do, still don't know much about Kefels because they're still pretty new onto the market place of ideas as 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 those of us in the in the crowd i'm just kidding i'm just kidding why why is there no game there's no game hold on capture it should be there there should be game there should be you should see game I don't know why you don't see game. Oh, no. You have game for a second. And now you have game back! Alright, so I'm pretty happy with the way this uh, tower thing is working, but like there is a possibility that I need to move it across by one, because it might actually hit that. <sighs> I'm going to have to move it across. Hey, welcome back, June 21. Welcome back, Pigeon Dead there. Now, this should be 8 meters high, so that should work. Technically, it should. I want to see, though, if that's here. Oh, yeah, it's perfect, actually. That's so cool. I can do it like that. Like that. Ooh. It's election day in Sweden. Oh, fuck yeah. Are you winning? Yeah, nationalist, empty, populist, uh, Swedish Democrats apparently got 22, 20%, you left it, leftist party got like 6.6%. Yay, populism. Ain't it great? I'm sorry to hear that. Fucking hell, really? Wait. 8%, that doesn't sound good. So, like, by populist, like, what do you mean? It's in their life. Fucking hell. So, is it like a reactionary party then? Kind of. Fucking hell. Why the fuck? I actually, um, yeah. Like, the fact that people don't realize a lot of shit, right? Like, I was on, I, I, like, one of the thing, you saw, you saw my Twitter thing, right? Some, some fuckhead was going on about how Muslim people, um, about, like, Muslim people not, um, or, like, taking multiple wives and shit like that. And that's not true of current... See, I didn't know this before, but, like, that's... The, the whole multiple wives thing is, like, not a thing in the way that, like, racists like to pretend it is. For Muslims or, um... Mormons. I mean, like, 
I would honestly, I would rather Muslims be around than Mormons. I do take issue with the church itself. I consider it to be a cult. But that's just my opinion. Um, when it comes to yeah, when it comes to um, Muslims, like just leave them the fuck alone already, please. And thank you. Yeah, that's that's my that's my damn opinion. Leave leave individuals alone anyway, like whether they be Mormon or what, or whatever they whatever someone is like. F fuck off, for goodness sake. Um. But yeah, like. Mm. Actually, no, I don't like the way this is going. I keep changing my mind, but that's okay. Cool thing about this game is changing your mind doesn't have a lot of uh, ramifications in the long run. Um. Yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. All you need to remember is that libs will libs will sell out their base um, for power because at, at which like yeah. At the end of the day, like libs libs will march with Nazis. That's all you need to remember. If they be if they be capitalists, they be betraying you. And don't forget it. Could save your life someday. I need to find out something. We're still our previous session. <laughs> All right, now I need to. By the way, I um, now I actually have um, um, VR Skyrim set up. You're very scared on how the elections will go because if they win, they got to work with other parties. But their support is obviously going to be skewed. Uh, it's deep. Yeah. Well, just never forget, right? That. Unless they are, like, actual fascists, right? They don't... They won't ha ever have... That proper control. Right? They won't end up with the control they need to... To, like... To le the level of control that they need to, like, um... Actually do damage. Like, yeah, hard to describe, but all right. So the pipeline pump Mark Two is what I'm working on right now. Oh yeah, so I have VR Skyrim set up. By the way, I think I think I mentioned that, but like, thought I mentioned it again. <laughs> uh, two hundred of their probability for my internet. Ah, well that's fucked. Okay, that's scary. Ah, uh, um, well. It's like I always say, right? Vote, but oh my god, fifty meters upwards? Wait, how how much is fifty meters? What's fifty divided by four? Hold on. Uh, wait, what's the button for finding stuff? N. Twelve point five. So there's twelve. So twelve and a half height. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, well, I mean, like, even Muhammad, like, even, even, uh, was it, is it Muhammad? Oh, I can't remember. Um, the, their, their prophet, right, um, would only take extra wives from orphans and widows. You know what I mean? Like, the way I, the way I've heard it explained, to, I've had it explained to me, is that, um, it's, like, a charitable thing. It's still fucking disgusting. The patriarchal stuff needs to change. 
either way. Like, I don't give a fuck. Sorry. If it's your religion or or your um, culture, patri patriarchy needs to be crushed. Sorry. Not sorry. That's just what I believe. Um, that, that may sound insensitive, but I think that uh, that that value is more important than your personal beliefs about uh, God. Prophet Jesus, yeah. Alright, you got to go. Uh, the election's got to school tomorrow as well. Also, welcome back, um, Monkey Gamer from the Moon. Yes, well, good luck with the with school and the elections, okay? Nai nai. Look, you can come here. Like we've we're we're too dumb to actually have Nazis yet. We're all we're we're pretty far away from having that, to be honest. Actually, we've just got like near libs. I wouldn't call many of our politicians actual Nazis. The ones that are actual Nazis tend to get like laughed out of uh, existence. You know what I mean? And I do what I did before, hold on. The thing is, though, uh, Monkey Gamer from the Moon, like, you can't ha you can't pull a gotcha on reactionaries because they're not actually like talking about any real belief that they have. Oh, oh that's why I fucked up, isn't it? I'm so confused now. Oh, no, no, okay. Don't forget don't just remember like it when you when you're when you're messing with chuds just have fun because there is absolutely no point other than that literally like there is no point other than to have fun at their expense um you should only care about what you're getting out of it at the end of the day because um, you're not going to change minds. You're not going to change a reactionary's mind. Right? They are going to change their own minds. And if they do, welcome with them with open arms. You know, like, well, you don't have to welcome them with open arms. You don't have to, like, you know, care about anyone at the end of the day. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do.
I wonder. Does work. Interesting. Ah. That's as high as it'll go. Yeah, well, I mean, most people don't know the basics. I mean, I don't really know the basics either, so I can't really, like, blame people for being idiots when I'm, I myself am one. You know what I mean? There we go, much better. No, not that kind of round. Stairs. There we go. I'll leave it up for now, maybe. Yeah, I'll leave it at that for now.
There we go. We're doing it. Now I need to do the road. I need to fix this road up. It should be easy enough. I figured out a better way of doing it anyway, so... Cold Fear. Cold Fear? What game is that? Is that a game called... Is the, is the game called Cold Fear? Spooky. It looks like it looks like in like a retro game. A mysterious Russian hoela. What the fuck is going on here? Wait, the second one? That's not right. How did that... How is that like this? Oh, hey. Well, that's, uh, interesting. The PS2. Oh, cool. Alright. Well, before I get rid of all of them, well, I'll get rid of most of them, but, like, didn't realize that these were all off by, like, off sale. It's good to know, though. <clears throat> Hmm. 
I need to fix this, don't I? Yes. Yes, I do. Whole thing needs to be fixed. Shit. That's okay. Alright. Yeah, see, that's in line now. Alright. These are all wrong. Yay, lots of fixing to do. I'm fixing to get fixing. Ah. The worst part about the game is that there's no map. Oh, that's not fun. That would make the game very difficult. So wait, so that's all right. So if I've got eight, twelve, so that's twenty-four meters across at the corners. It's it's half of twenty-four, twelve, right? Yeah. So that's going to be the halfway point there, and another 12 meters there. So, ah, okay. So we're looking at one, two, three, across there. Yeah, so if it's three across, then yeah, it's going to be a little bit cut off, but like, yeah, it'll be the same. Cool. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing.
And so if there's one of these Center point will be here. Not. There we go. Hey, happy Puritan, welcome back. Who's your mommy? Didn't work at all. But that did. Excellent. This is working better than I thought it would. Oh, wait. Problem.
Dang it. Still not up. Still not right. Dang it! You're doing it wrong. Pretty sure. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it's much better with three. Three wide, because then I can do... I can be better with the, um... Like, there's still gonna be a little bit of flickering, but I can be a little bit... Like, it's a little bit easier to, uh... You know, fill everything out. Got a joke for me. Is that so? Music break. Oh no. You doubted me, but I saw two with my own eyes. There are only two holes! Whoa! 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 Incel shit. I don't know. Seems kind of gay not to be sim not to simp for women, but that's just my perspective, I guess. But yeah, incel shit. That's that. That's basically all I can say about that. That just that just screams incel shit to me. Uh, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> what else can I say about it other than oh yeah, look, oh hey, it's incel shit. And, like, if Haz doesn't like that, then, um, stopping an incel, and I'm too, too tall for him anyway, so. Yeah. L plus I'm taller than you, Haz. Oh, 
Oh, fucking what? A debate him on what? How? How would you? How? How would anyone debate that fucking dude? Like, how is that even a, like a thing that can happen? As a, a, as, I, I don't even see the point of talking to the man. Like, he is literally like, I've I've listened to him talking to people live, and it's just sad. It's just sad. I don't know what else to call it, but just sad. It's just incel shit. No. I, I don't I don't understand why socialism became his thing. Socialism as like you know like I'm gonna put put whatever so socialism he believes in in inverted commas because obviously like come on come on. and here's the question here what do I put in here? Such a pretty hole. What was it? Oh. There we go. I'm starting to get there. No, I just need a one that goes across. It's alright, I'll make one. Dr. Blair versus Has. Oh my gosh. It's a long one. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Dr. Astar Bear. I am here uh, Bear? for a special live stream. Uh, I am debating uh, a fellow named Hayes, uh, who I call a reactionary socialist. I don't know what he calls himself. I, I guess we're going to find out. Look, like he's here now. Just reactionary grifter. Let's, let's be honest. Like, don't call him a socialist. Like, what what does he actually say that is socialist? Now, uh, so welcome to my guest here, Hayes. Mecha tankies. Uh, we're gonna have a debate like... tonight about a variety of different topics. Uh, I see this last one hour. We haven't communicated too much about the dimensions of this beforehand. That's never great. But here we are. And since we don't know each other very well, I'd like to start by just asking a couple of questions about your politics, because I, I find that hard to parse just from the, you know, t look that I've taken at some of your stuff. Do you mind if I ask you, do you, do you support China? Do you see China as an imperialist power? No. No what? No. 
It's not an imperialist power. Well, okay, oh, fair enough. Okay. Do you see it as a socialist country? Yes. All right, that's a good start. We're in agreement on that point then. What about the USSR? Is that a, a country and history and, and legacy that you do you uphold? Do you find yourself closer to the position of like, Stalin killed 100 million people or Stalin did nothing wrong? I'm a Stalinist, 100% Stalinist. Oh, All right. Sake. Well, I see some overlap there as well. Um, Wait, what? You know, o over the last summer, I sort of became known as this, right? Dr. Stalin. Um, and, and what about when it comes to more uh, social issues? I, I notice on your sub stack, you have a kind of rejection of woke culture. Um, but I'm having a hard time understanding what that means. Um, do you support, for example, say a woman's right to choose? To, for abortion? Yeah. I think this is a poorly constructed question. A uh, woman's right to choose unconditionally is does not exist anywhere in the world. Uh, maybe Sweden is an ex exception. Even in liberal Europe, there's not an unconditional right to choose at any stage of it the should. pregnancy. Broadly speaking, I'm not against abortion, uh, but I reject this dichotomy between completely unrestricted abortion, even eight months in, and uh, completely banning it entirely. Okay. So you'd favor some restrictions, is that right? Uh, I Personally, I think that's more, mainly women's business to sort amongst themselves. Uh, the women who are against abortion really are not being given fair representation because they are a big contingent of women who are against abortion. Uh, I per well, who fucking cares? Like, if, if, if that, hey, if you're a woman who's against abortion, um, sh shut the fuck up and don't get an abortion. Fuck you. Um, this, it's not about you. Like, this issue doesn't affect you. The, the, if you are someone who is pro-life, then this affects you as much as it affects men. Or people without, people like me, I suppose, without, um, uteruses. Uh, it doesn't affect you. If you are pro choice, if you're pro pro life, as as uh, you know, some people would call it. Um, I would call it uh, pro. Uh, I I would call it pro um, uh, anti women women uh, women's bodily autonomy myself. Um, but again, like, fuck off. Nothing to do with you. Cool. Have, have, have your baby. Have your baby. Do it. Um, that's your choice. Yo, let other women um, make their choices. End of story. Fuck off. Nobody wants to hear your voice Personally, in this conversation. I, I, I would not know when to restrict it, but I just realized that it's normal for most countries to have some restrictions on when you can get an abortion. Yeah, I mean, it It seems to me a little bit problematic when you start saying, um, well, you explain yourself, right? Like, we don't we don't typically have that, you know, like, it, if we if we take the position that abortion is health care, for example, you know, you don't typically say, like, why do you want a health care procedure, right? Like, you, you know, <laughs> but if you're putting restrictions on it, then all of a sudden you do have to explain, right? Because they're like, okay, sure. why do you do want... You, can you name me um, communist states that have no restrictions? Well, I mean, we, we're not talking about other states. We're talking about what our state... Yeah, states I'm a communist, though. Right? So I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't agree that communist states are oppressing women by restricting abortion uh, to some extent. What? Okay. Well, that's fair. What? Um, what? what about, you know, what about something like gay rights? I mean, like, when you, when you go out of your way to reject woke culture, and people might think, well, maybe you just sort of hate gays. I mean, is that the... Is that the case, or how would you describe your your politics when it comes to LBG, L, LGBTQ rights and so forth? Uh, I, I don't hate LGBT people, but I recognize the interest group. I'm against the interest group called the LGBT movement. 
Yeah, I'm a, it's completely anti-communist, has historically what? always served an anti-communist role. So what? the establishment is in bed with the NGOs, the Democratic Party, Ooh. and the agenda of the ruling class. They're the ones who are uh, establishing it as an interest group. I do think... What is he talking about? Like, I really want to see... He's saying that LGBTQIA plus people have been always been against the interests of, um... He's trying to say that LGBTQIA plus people have always been against the interests of, uh, like, communist states. But, like, where the fuck does he get that from? Honestly. I'm serious. Like, where is that from? Like, where is he getting that under that that reading from? That makes absolutely no sense. What what are you talking about, dude? That's that's just not true. You're talking shit, dude. You are talking shit. People should have rights to privacy and be left alone because of their sexuality and so on and so on. However. I don't agree that there should be a alignment between a communist movement and a so-called LGBT movement. Why? You know, given the amount of exclusion of, you know, groups like, for example, gays and lesbians in, in so many different social movements, right? Um, political movements. For example? Yeah. His, well, I mean... Historically speaking, um, if we really want to go into the historics of this, like, when it comes to LGBTQIA plus people, historically speaking, they have been consistently, like, um, oppressed by both communist groups and capitalist groups. Like, this, we, we get shit from both sides for absolutely no reason. Um, and the only argument you could possibly make um however i say that with you know some level of uh like disbelief like i the, 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 only, the only thing i can think of that you could argue from the other side is that um these uh that that lgbtqia plus groups um could um, are, are exploited by capitalism, but, like, we're, it's not about whether they are, we, the LGBTQIA plus people, the community is a, um, against communism. It, it, it's, it's more that it's a market that's been exploited by capitalism, and, and it's just smacks of this complete misunderstanding of what this what it what it is to be lgbtqa plus is like like the reason why it's been integrated into american culture uh and into these woke warfare bullshit is because it's just become another market gays oh, for fuck's sake. And, you know yeah. you you any any pretty much anything you could name right is exclusionary towards gays except for like the gay rights movement itself you know i disagree but, like, you disagree. There's gay you know, people in the Republican Party. Have been excluded from certain occupations, for example, right? Which ones? What? Really? You're, you're, not, you're unaware of that? Today, which I... which ones are eligible? When was this? When was this uh, conversation? When was this conversation? Hold on. 15th of May. Well, I guess it's like not... not um... Well, since since then, this has been very much um, a attack upon queer people within schools. Like, there's been a targeted attack against us. So, saying that you know that, that there's no oppression there is, I, I don't know. I find that quite a wild thing to say, considering the fact that it's just patently a false thing to claim like it's absolutely true that we are being like attacked on mass constantly 
right now. I don't know where he's getting his information from because it's just not the, the whatever whatever wherever he's getting it from is just like yeah what the fuck yeah, gay people excluded from the the question is given the the legacy of exclusion okay. if you don't if you're not inclusive are you being exclusionary right and and I'm that is the which perception. occupations are uh, exclusive only to historically people. healthcare um, teaching pretty much any job like it wasn't about like the type of job itself it was more about like who you are as a person was attacked again like what is he talking about Because he's not talking about gay people. Like, I don't even know if he knows what he's talking about at this point. You know what I mean? In America today. <laughs> well, you can have to do you can have to do your own homework on that. <laughs> but that is that is well, a very case, right? I mean, like, at, the mo at, at the moment, there is a massive push against uh, gay and uh, like queer and black people in education. At the moment, like I don't know if it was um, as big back in May. Um, like my ability to my 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 ability to tell the passage of time is pretty shit. So, but like, yeah, uh, it's it's happening, boot. It's happening, dude. Um, you sleep? Are you asleep? Or or what? You sleep, man? My dude. Shit's happening in front of your eyes, and you're just ignoring it at this point because it doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't line up with your uh, opinions. That's it at the end of the day, isn't it? It's just, it just doesn't line up with him. He doesn't know anything, so he says it doesn't <laughs> really? exist. Okay, all right. Um, no, I, I, that's what you're implying. You can't name any, so I guess. Do, do you think there were 50 years ago? Probably. Nah. What might be something you should look into? Um, but <laughs> you know, given that there is a clearly is a legacy of exclusion, right? Um, yes. Yeah. The the well, question is. How does is, that manifest itself? The, the question is, does that of did, exclusion? Are, are gays and lesbian a leg how does that manifest it what are you talking about he just said is there is a legacy of exclusion that that's how it manifests itself as a legacy of exclusion like what what is he even talking about there how does that manifest itself? Like that manifests itself as a legacy of exclusion. That, that that's 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 what it says in and of itself. Like that's 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 what it's saying. What? Might they see the communist movement? Didn't you say you're you're, you're known as Dr. Stalin? Right. Are we cutting off a, a contingency here? When, when really, I think we should be trying to like embrace all parts of the working class, right? If you the cut Republican off the Republican Party is Christian and uh, conservative, and they have gay people in the Republican Party. Oh, for fuck's sake! They yeah, the, yeah. Currently, like the gay people in the Republican Party are to say, are ba have basically given up at this point. Uh, that's where it, that's where it's at in the Republican part of the party right now. If you didn't read, if you didn't know, again, this is back in May, but like this is what's happening. Like that, there's that they they're giving up at this point because they realize that they're never going to get it, be accepted by the Republican Party. This is just brain dead. We have a few, right? Did and also didn't you say is that, you say that, party, is that widely favored? I mean, does that matter? You know? Hold on, didn't you Is say the you're Republican Dr. Party Colin? widely favored by LGBTQ folks? Um, Sorry? Is it is the party widely favored by LGBTQ folks? It's starting I don't to, think so. Among gay men, it's starting to. No, it isn't. <laughs> Maybe among the most privileged segment. Uh, um, then it's only know, a matter, I mean, would, 
there's Blair White now, so it's only a matter of time. There's even transgender conservatives now. So anyway, uh, my because Blair White exists, therefore, um, the, therefore uh, conservatives are gay now. Great. Um, yeah, she, like these people are horrifically like anti-LGBT. So like maybe fucking check your check yourself, mate. You don't know shit about what you're talking about. Holy fuck. This is ridiculous. Question to you is, you say your name was Dr. Stalin, something like this. You claim I'm a reactionary socialist when my views on this matter are more liberal than Stalin's. Stalin views homosexuality as a bourgeois degeneracy and decadence. And when a Western LGBT gay man from Britain wrote to Stalin on the persecution of homosexuals within the USSR, Stalin privately scoffed at the man and called him a degenerate. Uh, is Stalin yeah, a fascist reactionary the, socialist? Comparing the 1920s and 30s to today, you know, things what have What does the moved, passage right? of time have to do with it? Time has passed, so? Stalin viewed it as a fundamental perversion of bourgeois society. I, I don't think that's true, but even even so, what does it matter? But, but right? they wrote as much. The it question... was explicitly written by the uh, Stalinist intellectuals and leader, communist leaders of the USSR uh, throughout Stalin... the entirety of the USSR's existence, almost except uh, maybe toward the tail end under Gorbachev. But this was always the view of communists in the USSR, which you have claimed as well. And, and so, yes, there's been a so. Yeah. You've, he's just proved his point. As is just described, how gay people have been excluded. Now, and all the great revolutionaries share is that these are highly pragmatic, practical people, right? And they all share the same goal, which is global proletarian revolution, right? And I think that that's a goal we share as well, right? I mean, that would be a point of commonality between us. Am I right? It depends on what you mean, but sure. Oh, it, it, well, that's that's good, right? It depends on what I mean by global pro proletarian Trotsky revolution. <laughs> to me, let's, well, let's, let's see, this is a good question to explore, right? It, to me, it means, well, first, we would have a global dictatorship of the proletariat, right? I mean, you you oh, have to yeah. get rid what, of what do you the, mean the of global, it's that currently it's runs Trotsky. the world. There's no you say framework. no to this? There is no framework within Marxism-Leninism for a global proletarian dictatorship. So thus far, all the examples of proletarian dictatorship have been confined to one country. And the in, even in the interrelations between different proletarian dictatorships, such as the USSR and China, could not come to a common global framework for a proletarian dictatorship. So this sounds uh, Trotskyist to me that you're saying what? global pro how? How would you have a global one? What? We'll see. This is a good question, right? But, you know, you, you're talking about nations jockeying over things like borders and policies and whatever, because we're coming out of a long history of the modern nation state where nations are these boundary, you know, they exist in, you know, a... Um, China and the USSR were not nation states. They still could not come to a common framework for a proletarian global dictatorship. You, what? what we're talking about is these these nations are jockeying with one another and They're having not to protect nation. their China has and their several policies. nationalities. The USSR had several nationalities within it. They were civilization states, not nation states. What? I don't know how that's salient as a distinction, but you know the the, the point is it's everyone salient is trying because to you get... cannot establish an artificial unity of peoples on the basis of ideology. There are historical. Uh, roots to the extent to which civilizations are united, which cannot be leapfrogged or bypassed through some kind of political framework. Now, eventually, what? supposedly, the wait, what did he fucking like? I'm just this is my response to this is what is that by, uh, roots to the extent to which civil it's Everyone salient because you cannot establish an artificial unity of peoples on the basis of ideology. There are historical uh, roots to the extent to which civilizations are united, which cannot be leapfrogged or bypassed. This is like literally Jordan Peterson speak right now. That, that that's just Jordan Peterson speak right now for um. Uh, you can't do this. This is you can't do it's circular logic. You can't do this because you can't do this. That that that's what he's saying at the moment. Not he's not like giving any reasons for what he's saying. He's just saying oh you can't do it. But 
the question is, why not? Why can't you do it? Why, why can't we have a global flow proletariat? You're sell telling us we can't do something, but you're not actually, like, explaining what you consider the term to be. It seems like you don't even understand what that is. You haven't explained what your um, uh, interpretation of it is, even. You know? Um, it just doesn't... You don't seem to be making much sense out of what you're saying. That's my issue with this right now. Like, he doesn't seem to be making any sense other than, like, just, just disagreeing for the sake of disagreeing. If that makes any sense. Like, that's what, it, that's what it seems like to me. That's really what it seems like. It's just disagreeing for the sake of disagreeing. Um, which, again, is just childish and pointless. Why? Why do this? Of political framework. Now, eventually, supposedly, the idea is that borders will eventually disappear in communism and that there will be no different states as such because the state as such will wither away. But that's not the proletarian dictatorship. The proletarian dictatorship confines itself to the uh, existence in which the state is preserved. So how can you talk about a global state? It makes no sense. I don't think global uh, state... Okay, so, okay, so, um, Has doesn't understand the end... end um the end goal of communism to be a, a, a yeah a cashless stateless society that that's the misunderstanding here he he, he thinks ah oh, he's stalinist of course okay 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 i've interpreted this now all right it like this is gonna be just like some brain dead shit so be be be, be prepared for this um he believes that Stalin succeeded in creating a communist state. Um, yeah, but that that's it. That's that's basically it. He, he believes that that yeah that was what happened, which obviously wasn't what happened. Um, but he's gonna believe it anyway because why why not? Why the fuck not? Why wouldn't you believe something like that? would necessarily be the first a step. A proletarian dictatorship is what only exists about. in so far as the what state does, is weaponized by the proletarian class. What does global class. socialism actually state. look like? How does that move forward, right? Imagine that happening in not just one country or maybe a small handful of countries, but happening globally. I mean, this is a very traditional point of thought in marxism right now yes it's a very ba it's very basic it's like in the communist manifesto it's the, it's the idea of the global proletariat like the the proletariat revolution yeah i i don't know i don't know like yeah how to move past this one uh yeah Probably. I just, I, I think Stalin would just be like, who the fuck is this guy? What the fuck is he talking about? You know what I mean? Just, not a lot of this stuff is making much sense. Ooh, tilted concave. What's this? Whoa. 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 Yeah, but I've, oh, I've added tilted concave walls, but they need to add more. Because not a lot of what he's saying is actually making a lot of sense, even from his own, like, like, apparent point of view, like, what else are you going to be working towards if not a global proletariat revolution, my dude? Like, I don't know. Seems dumb to me. Can it happen in one country? 
But or the problem, are we talking about a global movement? Sure. The, um, Am the I right? Excuse, That's well, it, it, excuse me, Dr. Trotsky. The problem is that what Dr. you're talking about is a global proletarian dictatorship. The proletarian dictatorship necessarily implies a, the a state. And the whole meaning and purport what? of socialism in one country... No! No, the global proletariat dictate, the, the, like dictate, the dictatorship of the proletariat, is the means of production in the hands of the people. Like it's like some of the most basic fucking shit. What are you again? What are you talking about? You are talking about one of the most basic parts of. He's getting stumped on the the most basic part of like Marxist thought. I haven't done anywhere near as much readings as has is supposed to, and I understand this shit. What the fuck are you talking about? You fucking idiot. He's talking like basics of fucking like basics of all basics of this shit. I don't understand how anyone can be so fucking obtuse about this. I don't understand why someone can act this fucking stupid about this. It's not, he's not talking about anything controversial, he's talking about the basics of Marxism and you're calling him a Trotskyite, um, about this. I get, my only guess is that he believes that dictate he he's one of these weirdos that um, takes the word dictatorship um, of the proletariat to mean like to be a there needs to be a dictator over the proletariat which is like the literal opposite of what the, the term means the literal opposite this is like conservative levels of fucking misunderstanding Marxism. It's quite, it's quite impressive, really. It's impressively bad. I, I, and, and it's hard to believe, but I don't know. There you have it. That states have civilizational and national roots. They're not based on ideologies. They're based on the specific relationship between a historically constituted people and uh, an organ of class dictatorship. So no, you cannot have a global proletarian dictatorship. Uh, and when you talk about this global revolution happening simultaneously, it's been disproven by history. That is not the path in which the victory of global communism uh, will be established. Uh, China, Soviet Union, all of the successful I communist have so much faith did not have that simultaneously. You, you what? It's disproved. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's, so yeah. So it has, all right. To has uh, China and the USSR are successful examples of communist revolution. Um, I would not call them successful communist revolutions. I would call them successful communist experiments. They are, did not achieve communism. Have not achieved communism. They have been the best possible scenarios so far. They are still better than capitalism. Um, Or at least the capitalist states that we currently exist in has is just a fucking idiot and doesn't understand basic principles of Marxism. Amazing. That, that's a little bit to me. That's a little bit like saying communism has been disproved. And uh, whoever this guy is um, is being very, very kind, <laughs> very kind and very patient. Um, I don't know who. Uh, this Dr. Dr. Bear, I don't know his credentials. Um, I don't know anything about him, basically, but uh, he's being very fucking patient with Haz right now. And very kind in not, like, pointing out how fucking stupid he sounds right now. Because, uh, make no mistake, he sounds like an absolute fucking dumbass right now. And, and, and it's fucking crazy. Holy shit. So dumb. Amazingly dumb. Well, I, I, I can imagine that they do, and I know why. It's because he doesn't understand um, 
Marxist Leninist, but like, of course, Marxist Leninist wouldn't like him. He's a fucking Stalinist. Like, nobody likes Stalinists. Stalinists are the fucking worst of the worst. Fuck Stalinists. Sorry, not sorry. I'm not a big. I'm not a fan, to say the least. I am not a fan of Stalin. I uh, never will be. Um, and I don't have to be at the end of the day to uh, to do uh, what I do. This is interesting. Wow! 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 That is very interesting. Oh well. Good to know. Good to know that that's a thing. There, we there is no. We don't actually know. We know the the, the jury is still the out. The law on of social revolution necessarily dictates that it would be extremely improbable for a communist revolution to happen simultaneously across the entire world. The, the, oh, yeah. In any case, this is dumb. This guy's dumb. Also, I'm not sure if I am supposed to be able to like stream has because fuck that guy. Isn't he banned? Not Twitch? Who knows? Not gonna risk it. Ugh. What else was there? Is there any good uh, debates online? I feel like doing a debate review today. I don't know who's. Uh... I need to take what? Oh, the test. Hey, I, I shame, of course I remember you. It's been ages. Welcome back. How are you? Half of this comes through Keck. Why am I looking through this? Anything interesting on the crucible lately? Oh, I 
Christian nationalism, ew. Influence giant ass up the boards in the Chicago Black Brown POC. Just FYI. Oh, for fuck's sake. Tim Pool is fucking cringe as fuck. Um. That's the leftist uh, values test, isn't it, Salmon? Oh, hey. Oh, thank you for the follow shame. Welcome back. Yay! The left values test. Like, there was something in my head that I was thinking about looking at, but I can't remember what the fuck it was. Andrew Wilson versus Ben Thorpe. Conspiracy theories. Fuck. My brain. My brain, it not work right now. Dylan Burns, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a thing, isn't there? Um, dippy, dippy. Round table. You lost your shit, nothing personal. Wait, you lost your shit? What happened? Ew, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is why I don't watch the Hippy Dippy Round Table, don't I? This is because it's it because it's Dylan Burns and and Adam something and Xander Hall and Lonebox and Felish and oh my gosh this yeah I'm getting like oh. racing. I know that Matt Walsh um, reacted to the to to the Peppa Pig shit. No bueno. <laughs> yeah, true that. Huh? Month. Huh. Doesn't seem to be any hippy dippy shit. What's this? The okay. The problem with trans advocacy. Yeah, I understand that. With a title like this, I should probably start the video off with my persona crossing their arms, looking all smug like. When will trans people learn to? And and also a raised eyebrow. Got to do the raised eyebrow. Hmm. Oh. Stay in their own okay. lane. We only hate you because you keep waving the pride flags in our faces. Oh, say can you see? I don't push my 40 years of loveless marriage on you. My oh, wife yeah. and I are only ever intimate for the sole purpose of procreation in honor of God. Unlike the homosexuals, marriage is like the wings on a plane. Two wings on the same side, that doesn't work. Yeah. I think we're done here. Get wrecked. Okay. Buy a pop filter, please. Please. You can get them really cheap. But just please. Just... Or just turn down the gain. Just turn down the gain, please. Put the... the, the you you don't have to you don't have to have it right next to your face without a pop filter being really fucking loud into it. Like this. You, you can... You can... You can just have your... Have it around the place. Just, 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 turn down your game, please. Liberals. Oh dear lord, okay, before this spirals completely out of my control, I'm, I'm memeing. We do a little trolling, it's called We Do a Little Trolling. And the title is vague and inflammatory on purpose, so don't get your panties in a twist just <laughs> yet, okay? For those of you that are new here, I'm Muggin Mile, or Miles, a trans guy. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Poster and 
Overall menace on Twitter. Also, also blue, 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 blue. Isn't no green? Oh, well, what? I thought they had a green, a green um, tag on it. Why would they not if have we a do green a little tag? Trolling, it's called we do a little trolling. I basically do what Kefels do, but less successfully. So it would be very hypocritical of me to get on here and drag Kefels through the mud. I don't hate her, nor her methods. Actually, I I like her. This is this is a pro Kefels channel. Let's get that out of the way. We support the agenda. Though I'm not an avid watcher, I don't really know. I'm not really for debate bros, um, I, 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 I have nothing against Keffels personally, um, I just don't like debate bros, and she is a debate bro streamer. Well, I mean, like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know enough about her content, I just know that, like, she makes a lot of conservatives mad, which, lol. That's it. Lol, she make the conservative go, err. She 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 make she make the conservative angry. That's 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 good enough for me. Bite girl. Yeah, like. I, it's just yeah. Okay, so. Now here's the question. Cementing. Dismantle the beam. I'm gonna have to dismantle the beam, move it out of the way at least. She's done pink washing with pigs. How so? How? Ew. Why? But like, yeah, like definitely link me that shit. Cause yeah, if there's any, if there, hey. With like, I'll I'll be a drama. I I'm happy to do drama stream. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, drama streams. <laughs> Let's drag some shit. There we go. Finally got it right. Got that connection right. Oh, what she does on her streams. I don't know if she goes on there and like genuinely call for the genocide of all cis people. But I'm pretty sure that it would. I, there has never been a person who has unironically called for the death of cis people. Uh, it's just, yeah, don't. That's not ha that has not happened. Um, yeah, that hasn't happened. Stop being idiots, please. Come on, stop. Get some help. Seriously. Like, that's, yeah. If you think this, why do you think this? Wait a second, what's going on here? This does not look right at all. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on, wait a second. No, 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 don't delete anything, Lucy. I almost figured it. Jordan Peterson was banned again. Yes, we, we're going to react to that. We'll talk about if that we was did, the case. did this awesome what screen. What I'm saying is that as far as I know, she's a solid person and a solid streamer. Good for her. I've been solid aware of snake. her for quite some time. I clearly remember looking up the trans people are my friends. And something about Kefal. I think Kefal's reacted to that. And yeah, and now my Twitter feed has kept me up to date with whatever she gets up to and things have escalated oh, yeah. rapidly to say the least. Yeah. When I first decided to roll up my sleeves and dig my tiny hands into this hey, massive stinking pile of shit. The most recent point of contention was her beef Welcome with back. Hunter Avalon. And when I finally start scripting this, she has now set up a GoFundMe to move after being swatted. Things are moving yes. very quickly. I think she has already reached her goal, but go okay. support her in whatever way you can, whether it's on Patreon. Does she have a Patreon? Probably. S subscribing to her donating just go support her because um so i mean like with her size i'd probably like recommend you support smaller streamers <laughs> no i'm not talking about me necessarily i'm just saying like maybe may maybe look at some smaller trans streamers who are struggling like 
yeah, that, that that that's that's where I would go with that. But that's just me. Those are just my thoughts. It's just a theory. A Lucy uh, let's theory. Let's just say that people, um, transphobes aren't really a big fan of her right now. And I just wish her the best. Hi, hello, editing Miles here. I just finished editing the audio last night and was just about to continue when Keffels uploaded yeah. another video titled Things Have Escalated, Now I'm in Hiding, which really is a testament to the stalking and these people will go to Holy extreme shit. lengths to harass her. I'm not gonna rescript this video. <laughs> extreme lengths, get it? Get it? Sorry. Sorry, yeah, I'm uh, sorry. I still stand by it. I still want you to legitimately sorry. Sorry this time. Keep in mind that most of this was written before the swatting, etc. If I had written this now, after the fact, I would have changed my approach and especially the focus because, like, um, who who cares about some stupid Twitch drama when there's online creeps that managed? It's just weird that it keeps on ticking on in the background. Um, if that makes any sense. It just keeps on ticking on in the background, um, of everything else. Like, it, it just doesn't seem like a hugely important thing to me. Like, I know, like, I know that the doxing and, like, you get bringing down, um, uh, shitty websites. Yes, 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 yes. I, I'm all for that. I'm, I, I am pro-censorship. We are all pro-censorship here uh, in the Shady Harbor. <laughs> um, uh, that... But like, yeah, yeah. Um, she th she's had some cringe moments, and then and a lot of people um criticize her for her um, um what I would call uh tone deafness to race issues, um, which is a very fuck. It, it is endemic amongst the debate bro streamer community, um. Seriously, like, I don't know why people find it so hard to, uh, what, what was, what's the word for it, um, care about, um, other people's problems and needs and shit? Like, I don't, I don't understand why people struggle, honestly. Um, it, 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 it baffles me. Um, Kiwi Farms being offline is better than not. Yeah, I, 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 and I am very much pro-censorship when it comes to that. Um, I hate the system as it stands, but I 100% advocate for using the system to achieve the go leftist goals. Um, we got to do what we can. You know? Do what we can. Do it. Fuck yeah. Censor that shit. Well, I'm down for that. Um, I guess what I'm more... Um, is it concern? No. Uh, like, the, the stuff I'm more interested in, let's go with, is, um, actually dealing with, um, like, it, it's not... I, lo I look at Keffels, right? I look at Keffels, and I look at what they do, and I see... Oh, it's Libship. That's my reaction. Oh, hey, Libship. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care any... Like, I... I it's, it's adjacent to my interests. It's Libship. Um, I have no problem with it. I'm not going to stand in the way of it. Um, if people do bring up problematic stuff, I'm going to look into it, because that's what I do. I like looking up interesting tidbits of information about people, that's, that's fun to me for some fucked up reason. I find that, I find it interesting to find out more about people. Um, but yeah, when it comes to Keffels, is it? person um they seem to be pretty cool just like to like tone deaf when it comes to race well, like most white people are does that make it okay fuck no but um is it an explanation for a thing that exists yeah that explains it to me wait how did that happen 
Yeah, uh, it's not the fucking... It's not Praxis. It's just, uh, lib, lib shit, lib drama shit. It's lib shit. I mean, it's fun, it's fun, but like, like I always tell to everyone here, it's just like, it's entertainment at the end of the day. It's entertainment. Don't, don't, don't take it seriously. Um, that's the worst thing you can do, is take it too seriously. Um, because that's, that's when it starts being a problem. Is when you take this shit too seriously, and you, then you start believing that, you know, you're doing practice by donating to your favorite stream entertainment streamer but it's the same problem that crops up with fox news and with um stuff it probably won't change your issues still nice to talk about about it so people don't think it's okay but don't hey you know about things you should do black trans women every time she's brought up here's my problem with people who keep bringing that shit up the people that keep bringing that shit up don't show receipts in fact like, like, every time it's brought up, I have to look up the receipts myself. And I can usually... I, I, it, it's very rare that I can actually find something. That doesn't mean that... Um, that's my problem, you know? That's not me saying, oh, Kevles is fine. Um, stamp of approval from me. But she's still a lib. Come on. Let's, 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 let's be honest about this shit. She's still a fucking lib. Um, and she has the same problematic shit as all libs do. Um, but yeah, like, focusing too much on the lib shit is... It, it, it rots your brain. It's American brain rot. Actually, you know what? There is something that I can talk about t today. Did you know that your American fucking brain rot has, has seeped so far into my country that... My nephew, the other day, came home spouting, so, so, six-year-old, six years old, six years old fucking brain rot, right? Came home and started spouting creationist points to my brother. Talking about how the world was created um, 6,000 years ago. And that we lived with dinosaurs. Her, his, their school has been teaching them that. And I don't know if this sound, if this um, makes you. I, I'm not sure if that, if the 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 the. the the ramifications of this hits Americans like it hits us, but this shit is not normal here in Australia. This is not normal stuff to teach kids in school. This is grade A American bullshit. Because I looked up. In fact, we can have a look at some of the shit. Because uh, my brother sent me some of this shit. There's a website. They called, uh, it's called like Real Genesis or something. It's American fucking bullshit. American conservative shit seeping its way into my fucking country. Which is bad enough as it is. So yeah, I'm a little bit pissed off at that. I find that a little bit more pressing than Kiwi Farms doxing people online. Personally, that's what I find a little bit more problematic, and I, I, I do struggle with that, but, but sure, cool, Kiwi Farms is gone, yay, good stuff. This is, it, it's it's insane that that I I'm, I I you know what I I am not sorry to shit on your beliefs because if you believe that the world is six thousand years old, um, okay, let's hold up for a second here. Let me cool down for a second, and let's talk about this 
if we are talking about... Damn it. If we are talking about believing that the universe was created 6,000 years ago, that's fine by me. You can believe that. That's cool. But if you try and push anti-science talking points on that, then that's a fucking problem. Then you are just being a motherfucking Luddite. Because that's just not fact. That's just not true. That's not real. That's not science. And I'm not sorry if that offends you. Not only is that not science, but also that is, to me, blasphemy. What's that? Blasphemy? How can she talk about something being blasphemous when talking about science and all of this stuff? Well, let me tell you about that. Let me tell you why I call this shit blasphemy. I call this shit blasphemy because it is completely inconsistent with the idea that a god created this world, that a god created everything in it, and you are creating your own story to, you know, you're making up your own fucking story to uh, try and, to try and, uh, like, you're creating up, you're making up your own story to make a narrative, basically. On this stuff. Like. I'm not interested in, in your in your bullshit. To me, I find that I find that offensive towards my religion. It's you know. My, in my religion, I believe that God created everything, so I don't know what the fuck you're doing in yours. But it doesn't seem to be... You know... Talking about the world that your God apparently created is just like, no. Nah. Anyway, we'll look at that later, but I'm just really, really fucking pissed off that, um... That that's being taught at schools. That kids are being taught, um... Literally... Ludditism, like the the to teach a kid that 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 um, evolution, because they don't just say that um, the world was created six thousand years ago. Oh no! Oh no! That would be one thing. What they do is they go out there and they tell children who don't know any better that the current th the current our current understanding scientific understanding of um, evolution is wrong. Not just that they have a belief in creationism, but actually saying that the scientific consensus is a lie. That's fucking disgusting. Don't do that to our children. How fucking dare you? Try and fucking teach our kids anti-science fucking bullshit like that. Like... It's disgusting. Horrific. Answers in Genesis, it's called. Guess we're moving into it. Earlier than I thought. So this is what... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, fucking hell. Hold on.
give me a second. I need to check. I need to uh, not dox myself. So, turns out, turns out, turns out that they're teaching my nephews anti-trans shit. Isn't that fucking brilliant? Isn't that? Doesn't that make, how does that make you feel? How's that? That's awesome. Check that out. Look at all the red, look at all the red links. Oh, they've got a YouTube channel. Fucking wonderful. Biblical VR channel. Big Tech's corrupt agenda. Why scientists can Oh my gosh, this is fucking insane. This is what they're teaching kids. Did an insider just blow the whistle on the... Yep. My nephew's being groomed. Fucking hell. Yeah. The horrendous effects of transgender surgery? Welcome to Answers News for Monday, July... I'm- I'm- I'm a Christ- I'm a fucking Christian myself! July 18th, 2022. Hi, I'm Dr. Georgia Prodom, and this is Dr. Kaya Kloster and Bodie Hodge, and we're here to... Molecular genetics. She's just a, she's just a creationist, so... From Ohio State University. What is what does a molecular geneticist do? They do uh, DNA molecules. Oh my goodness. Okay. She's an author. Dr. Kaya Kloster. Is a cardiovascular physio physiology with wait so she's she's a physiologist okay okay cool wonderful also she's uh, that that both of women, those women are so um, affiliated with uh, answers in Genesis that's the first result that they they've got more results in the creationist uh, website than they do like actual science okay and Bodie Hodge. Oh fuck! This cuts so deep. He's a speaker writer as a mechanical engineering. Why is it the engineers at all? At, and the fucking physiologists with cardiovascular shit. <sighs> Discuss the victimization of young people by medical professionals steeped in transgender ideology. So that's our first story for today. Um, the horrors of transgender surgeries and the lives they ruin are finally being spoken about. So. 
I sadly can't say I'm surprised by this because I knew it was only a matter of time till a lot of these, especially young people who have had these Ken horrible Ham? surgeries done to them. Ken Ham. Who's Ken Ham again? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Christian fundamentalist, young earth creationist, an apologist living in the United States. Fucking hell. Um, and even not just so young, but even older people mm -hmm. that have had it done, um, realize just the, the terrible situation that they put themselves in. And now they're suing um, the doctors and the, and the agencies and things that basically they feel push them towards these things. He's the, he's the CEO of Answers, Answers in, uh, in Genesis. Thing, he created um, and it. And all of the medical problems that they now have as a result of that. Yeah, and you know, we were saying this sort of thing a long time ago, like, you know, people are going to regret this, there's going to be problems, and, and lo and behold, that's exactly what's happened, and a lot of times I don't think the press, uh, in many instances, wanted to talk about that sort of thing, they just kind of wanted to, I'll throw that aside, we don't want that in the narrative, I guess, but now, I mean, a lot of people that are actually involved in it, that actually had this done, are stepping back going, what did I do, this is horrible, what? it's just terrible for them. It, you know, it's something that's changed so quickly in our culture. Like, it's not that long ago when there was a very different opinion about some of these issues. And it's, it's almost like popular. And so, so they call it like a, trans, or a conveyor belt. And they're almost just like moving these people in for these surgeries. There's waiting lists at these clinics. And um, they're trying to move them through so quickly. The story here about this... I, I don't know who these people are. I don't know why they think that thing that being transgender is so fucking easy. I don't fucking understand it because it's just not the truth. It is not fucking easy to get surgeries. I can't afford any surgeries. <laughs> the people on waiting lists are either like are either people who have um, more major dysphoria than I do, who are on um, like you know NHS or NH in NHS in the UK or. Um, uh, NDIS here in Australia, but like in America, fucking good luck. Like these people are American. Why are you talking about waiting lists and shit? You can't get that shit unless you can fucking afford it. Holy shit. It, it was a, a young man who became a woman and he said they, they pushed a couple times yeah, for me to have the- a, There is a waiting, there is a waiting list on seeing an endocrinologist just to get hormones, right? You're looking at maybe up to a year in some places. Like, it's fucked. It is absolutely fucked. Surgery and he wasn't quite ready, and then they finally said, if you're not ready, then you can't be part of our program. And then he couldn't receive the counseling and things that he needed, and he was desperate, and so he said, okay. So he, he really wasn't given any of the warnings about what could happen or the problems, and he- Wait, he, wait, 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 And wait. he said here about this, it was a, a young man who became a woman, and he said they they pushed a couple times for me to have the surgery, and he wasn't quite ready. And then they finally they said, "If you're not ready, then they pushed him a couple. You can't of times. be part of our program." And then he couldn't receive the counseling and things that he needed, and he was desperate. And so he said, "Okay." So he he really. It wasn't given any this of the sounds, warnings about what this could happen bullshit. or the problems, and he didn't even have time to process. What was his name again? What was this? We're at we're at we're at two sixteen. Where was the uh, where was the article pop up? Two sixteen, two sixteen, two sixteen. Richie Heron. Christian dot co. Right, Richie Heron. Daily Mail, YouTube, womenofhuman.com, um, CBN, The Times. Is there any, like, actual news websites with uh, the information? Christian Post, National Review, Mail Plus, Wikipedia, Sex Matters, no. Fucking news articles? Christian Broadcasting, holy fuck. Christian Broadcasting Network. <sighs> da, 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 Christian, Bill Welt, NBC4. And six, Courtney Heron, no. 
Detox. There is no, there, there's no, like, actual, like, original shit for this. Like, all we have is the Daily Mail. Oh, here we go. for Older men on older men on the forum can miss the vulnerable young man who must be trans. There's a psychologist that who did not dissuade him of the notion he had gender dysphoria. Then it's still run by Cumbria waiting this, this long, but uh, look out a payday to pay for an appointment at a private gender clinic in March 2014. He was diagnosed with uh, transsexualism. Okay. That's weird. I don't think that we called it that in 2014, but okay. Um, um, so yeah, this seems like a problem with the NHS. Absolutely. Okay. Well, Richie needs to, yeah. Uh, Richie, Richie needs to, uh, like, definitely deserves to be compensated for this. Reading this, it looks like that he didn't even see the surgeon. No, neither did I. What the fuck? Oh wait, yeah, I did actually meet the meet the meet the, meet the surgeon for the stuff that I got done. Blur. Oh gosh, what have I done? Okay. Yeah, this is awful. This stuff is awful, obviously. Um, what does it have to do with um, trans people like me who have no regrets? Process it himself. and So, like, at this point, we're talking about a 26-year-old adult man um, who was not given proper, like, w he wasn't able to get um, uh, proper psychiatric care. And as a result felt like that he'd been pushed into doing something that he uh, he regretted afterwards. It didn't seem at all like he uh, regretted it at the time, but like obviously, you know, this stuff happens and it is a result of a shitty medical system that needs to be made better. We need to make it better to catch these problems and look at these problems in order to um, save as save as many people as possible. But the thing is, to speak, using an issue like this to speak out against all transgender surgery is fucking ridiculous because that makes the problem worse. It makes it harder to get help. It makes it harder to get psychiatric care. It means that people will more. It, it will mean that more people make mistakes because we don't have the care there for transgender people. You fucking idiot. He just kind of got on this conveyor belt, and but the comment they make at the end is it this conveyor belt is. It wasn't even a conveyor belt. Like, what, they're, they're, they're portraying this as, like, something which happened j without his, um, without his, any, um, of his own, um, what the, what's the word? Like, it, without any, um, input by himself. But he literally took out a payday loan in order to, in order to see a private therapist. He did not, he wasn't even on the conveyor belt, he jumped off the conveyor, be conveyor belt and paid his way into the fast track. That's a fucking problem! And those are the problems here that lead up to m things like this happening, and you're just ignoring the fucking real issue here, and saying that it's transgender people that's the issue. Older men, huh? No. Mm. Coming out the other end, we're having these people that are having the regrets. There's a line where he says, um, when he awoke, he was instantly regretful, and he says, oh God, what have I done? Honestly, I've had major surgery before. 
Yeah, that that's normal. That that's normal after fucking major like invasive surgery. Like, you don't wake up feeling good. <laughs> um. I don't know if anyone here has ever had surgery before, but I have. I've had just fucking keyhole surgery, and I woke up feeling like I was dying. You know, like that's that that that, that that's the uh, anesthetic wearing off, honey. Um, that's normal. <laughs> you fucking ghouls! You fucking ghouls! And I just think, you know, I don't know that this young man probably believes in God, but isn't it funny that he invoked? that name, you yeah. know, in that moment of regret. Oh, yeah. uh, fuck off with your American, like, evangelical bullshit. Please. Seriously, like, no. 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 Oh, you said the name of God. Oh, isn't it amazing? It's like, yeah, people, like, curse all the time. Fucking hell. When people say, when people take the Lord's name in vain, they're just like, oh no, you're cursing. How awful. Um, but, like, it's okay when 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 it's when it's after um when, when it's something that we like, you know. Surgical opera uh surgical operational and another operation could no it, it it you are you are bed ridden for weeks. I've looked into it. Like it's it, it is it's not fun. It is it's not something that you enjoy. Why is this thing not? Why can't I do it? Weird. So weird. But yeah. It's not something that it's not something that's easily recover like recovered from. Like it, it it's not fun. It's not a fun process. Why is that happening? Fuck. And these people are talking about, like, surgery, like, oh my gosh, they felt horrible. Well, like, no shit, you just had invasive surgery. Yes, you feel like shit. That's, you know, that's what happens when you have invasive surgery. You end up, like, not feeling well afterwards. That's, that's normal. Um, sorry, not sorry, but that's, that, that's just normal. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of a lot of kids in particular have really been trained uh, that uh, transgender is the way to go. And, you know, a lot of people are not taught, uh, say, a biblical worldview. They're not definitely not getting that in a school right. system, for example. Um, but, you know, a lot of these kids, they're heavily influenced by it. They well, they, they are grooming kids in, my, in, in our school system. Thanks, America. Thank you so much for that. So thank you so much for my kid, for my for my nephew believing so much in creationism that he fucking had an argument with my with my brother. Thank you fucking so much for that, you fucks. I think it's the norm. Uh, that's part of their culture. This next generation, what? and yet culture you know, they are just being rushed into some of this, and it yeah. just breaks my heart to see that sort of thing. Yeah, it's just, and I think what this really shows you is that it's, this is not about people. Like, they don't care about people, right? It's about agenda, and it's about making sure. That's what I like to call a little bit of projection there, huh? A little bit of projection there, honey, I think. Yeah, I think I think that's what, uh, that, that's what me, me and the boys, we like to call it uh, projection. Fucking hell. Yep, yeah, y'all, y'all agree, y'all, y'all, all y'all, uh, are grooming, grooming my, uh, family now, so, like, fucking hell. Seriously, can't get any peace. Yep, my brother's kids are being taught by people who want to erase my existence. Fucking brilliant. Wonderful. I have half a mind to go up to this school and talk to them directly and be like um you, and confront them about this and talk to them about um and ask them why they are teaching children to hate people like me i would like i would like to know the answer for that yeah the only people with an agenda like people like me want health care we want access to Healthcare. 
we, we don't have an agenda past that. We want to have... We want to live our lives happily and healthy in peace without fuckheads like this trying to erase our existence. I'm um, sorry, not sorry. That's that's how it is. And if you don't like that, that sounds like a you problem. That their agenda is continued to be conveyed, um, and uh, because if it was about people, they would stop. Because they know, tighter. first of all, you can't change someone's gender. I mean, you can change the outward appearance, but that doesn't change their gender. Well, yeah, no, you you don't know what it. You, you, oh, she doesn't. She doesn't know what um, gender means. Um, for those of you who are not aware, uh, a gender is your social um, has to do with your uh, social status in society. It like has to do with uh, like how you identify socially, um, which has a lot to do with the uh, dialectical. Um, <sighs> the dialectical relationship between your gender and um, between your gen your between your gender and the uh, gender that was assigned to your birth. So, like the the way basically the way you wish to present versus the way the world wants you to present, basically. That's it. That's it. That's it. That, that, that's all it is. That's what gender is. It has nothing to do with biology, um, other than that dialectical real uh, that other dialectical relationship between um, your gender and your sex. Because what your sex is uh, does dictate to some degree how you are treated within society from a very young age. Um, but that doesn't mean that your sex is the, your be-all and end-all. Like, at the end of the day, your gender is still something that you get to decide. At the end of the day, you get to decide on that. No ifs or buts there, like, that's you. Dialectical materialism. Yeah. Oh, as it, it is to watch my stream. Is that, is that a bad thing? Am I exhausting? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being so exhausting. Gender, and secondly, that um, these people, like even when they do get the surgery, it. Doesn't what do you mean, these people? Doesn't help. I mean, they don't. They don't because that's not getting to the root of Bitch. the problem, right? They. A lot of these individuals have had sexual abuse. They've had um, bad histories. You know, bad. Yeah, because like cis cishet people seem to like to abuse uh, tr like trans people um, at much like higher rates than uh, trans people like. Um, abusing anyone. In fact, like, the trans people are much less likely to be abusers than uh, cis people. I wonder why that is. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder why that is. Hmm. Very interesting. Maybe, maybe because, uh, like, we, we, we have abuse from a very young age because oftentimes our gender dysphoria um, is expressed in ways that we can't actually um, express properly. So... It becomes jumbled up within that. They found out who the they, them, Pucker Carls. They found, they found them. Who were, who are they? I thought, I thought it was Jewish people, but um, I could be wrong. It's not Jewish people. I would have thought that um, it was Jewish people if it's Tucker Carlson. things have happened to them in the past trauma they uh, they need real help they don't need <laughs> yes we they, need that's not real the help. Kind of help they need they need actual no. help and healing i'm sorry well no i'm not sorry um the actual help that we need is is the help that has been like approved by um almost every major like scientific and medical um organization around the world like that that's the, that's the help yeah, they need happy zappy help. Happy zappy. Yeah, apparently, yeah. Literally. Literally, though. Literally. Literally, they expect us to be treated the same way that Ash was treated by uh, Pikachu in Pokemon. Quite literally. Like... 
which, yeah. I'm good, thanks. I'm good. I I'm doing well with my current treatment. I'm so glad that you're not my doctor, because... Oh boy! This bitch is not good at her job. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine how many people, like... Like, what, what did she do? What did she do? What, did, what was she again? She was a molecular biologist. Um, uh, she works with, like, chromosomes. She knows about sexual dimorphism. Like, how can... Well, I mean, I guess she might just know about it and choose not to believe in it because, like, creationists are fucking mental. I guess. How can you, like... Devote your life to learning about a particular pot topic and then, like, suddenly claim that, like, the opposite exists in reality. Like, how, how, how can that be the way that you see the world? How, 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 how does that happen? Like, how do you drop off the face of sanity so quickly and so utterly brutally? How? Stop. Get some help. Uh -huh. in their hearts and minds and that definitely the best way to do that is through the gospel and so that is what they that is what they the best way to deal with mental issues is to seek out the gospel i'm sorry not sorry not really um but like do you know how many people are in the psychiatric uh, wards right now who believe that they are the reincarnation of christ I don't think that turning to the scriptures is going to solve this problem. Just a hunch. A game hunch. I'm speaking of fundies. Why do they call them fundies? A lot of those think that we're Jesus. Jesus isn't white? <gasps> no! Sorry, I was trying to do a... Um, Impression there of uh, what's his face? What's that dumbass's name? What? No! Oh, careful, 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 monkey gamer! Don't kill them. You're gonna kill them talking about talking like that. Oh yeah. I hope you cleaned up afterwards. Oh! Fortune. Wait, what is blood libel again? I can't even remember what that fucking means. So fucking stupid people are. Alright, well, that's that. That's gonna be fine for now. Like, this is where it stops. Jesus supports sex work. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Love your neighbor, especially if she gives you a discount. Interesting. Still don't quite understand it, but, uh... Meh. Do I need to? Meh. Am I gonna? Meh. Are we gonna continue the video? Yeah. 
they really need and what they need to get. And so hopefully some of these people will, now that they're seeing that this obviously did not solve the, the problems that they were having, that first of all, these people will be held accountable for what they've done. Because especially when it comes to children, uh, it just it kind of boggles my mind to think Wait, about- you're talking about a 26 year old man, not children. I hope you're not gonna like start implying that this is happening with children because uh, that would be um, a lie, so to speak. Governments and parents approving of essentially what is a mass experimentation on children, um, medical experimentation on children, and um, and just these no, long, isn't. terrible uh, effects that they can have. No, 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 that's not how experiments work. No, 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 we do we do experiments beforehand and we do studies uh, along the way, but like the, the 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 stuff that's going on now is not like experimentation. Like we know we know what works the best for kids. Um, we we already know what kind of like like we already know what kind of treatment works best for trans people. Um, and if you're going to claim something different, then you need to actually bring up your receipts and like explain where you've come to that conclusion from otherwise just saying they y'all need the, the, this is basically the y'all need jesus bullshit quite literally like this is very much like you know pastoral techniques at the end of the day because they basically take one story um and then they make an entire sermon out of it and then they bring up scripture to back it up and but the thing is like when you start arguing against science <coughs> at that point it's not enough to just simply bring up one story and then claim that that's all you need to prove your point because it's not you you actually need to back up what you're saying with some actual scientific evidence and that's what these people don't understand so yeah, you need Jesus. I think these people need Jesus, because uh, like he seems to be like completely uh, devoid of their uh, devotions, uh, which is sad. Sad. Very very sad. As a result of that, so hopefully this is what they're teaching my uh, nephews. By the way, this is this is what they're teaching my nephews. So wake people up. My blood. Really get them on the right track with this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and continuing in that same Without thread, any consent Marvel or knowledge. Comics introducing first gay Spider-Man. But okay. no, but but no, but no, keep calling me a groomer. Keep calling me me the fucking groomer. Um while, you know, these fucks are actually grooming like my flesh and blood. Yeah. Keep calling me that. And then, you know, go choke on a fucking chicken wing. I piss on your grave. So now I'm not really into like comic Ooh. books and things like that. So apparently there can be multiple Spider-Men in the Spider-Verse. Okay, <coughs> so that's just, again, that's my my understanding of this. And so now they introduce different ones. This one's called Web Weaver. And he will be distinctly gay, um, according to what they're saying here about it. That he will have very, uh, you can kind of see it there, very frilly clothes um he'll have Lashes. certain postures that are very considered quote-unquote gay that's not gay uh, that's to, fabulous again advance an agenda yeah this comes from breitbart and uh, you know one of the things that uh an agenda like step back. but the thing is they always talk about like oh they're 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 they're, they're uh, you know putting in an agenda oh an agenda i'm like what the fuck is the agenda Hey, what are you talking about? What agenda? What the fuck are you talking about? What's the agenda, you pricks? It can't be about grooming kids, because you're obviously taking that fucking, uh, that, that fucking job already, aren't ya? You fucks? A jammy bastards? Peanut butter bastard, pe peanut butter and jammy bastards. Because could serve with co coalition, yeah. Americans, fuck off. I can look at the big picture. You know, Marvel is owned by Disney, and you know Disney has really started to push that sort of agenda in all sorts of stuff. I mean, we've seen it in uh, the the latest Thor movie that came yeah. out. 
Um, you know, they've been pushing it at a lot of the parks. They've been pushing all sorts of different things now for a number of years. And it almost seems like they're going overboard. A lot of people are pushing back on it. Uh, Lightyear, for example, uh, a, a kid's show, uh, you know, is uh, introduced and things like that. So I think a lot of people are tired of it, and yet here they're, it, it's still being forced onto people. And it breaks my heart, you know, because a lot of times, who, who's the target for a lot of these? A lot of it's kids. Yeah, you know, I ha I'm a grandma with three young grandsons, and they love Spider-Man. And I just think, you know, of how they, they find out what people are interested, what these kids are going to want to watch. Dinosaur, all those things where they can slip in the evolutionary or these sexual agendas. And, and so just the... Uh, fucking hell, sexual agendas? What are you talking about? We're talking about gender, not sex, you fucking idiots! The that's happening of our young people before they really have... And so we need to be very vigilant as parents, as grandparents, to really be watching what are what are my. And they're absolutely right. You all need y'all need to y'all y'all need to be fucking vigilant because people like this are going to indoctrinate your kids into, um, whoops, um, are going to, the, people like this are literally grooming kids into Christian um, fundamentalism, which is anti-science it is anti-community and it is destroying your country stop fucking with mine you fucks yeah yeah that's right my kids watching what are they reading what are they seeing you, you know <clears throat> when they're on the internet you know all of those things we have to be vigilant we have to help them because that's our job um and uh one of the great resources that we have here at answers and genesis is answers tv and that's our streaming platform and you're not gonna have to worry about stuff like that on our streaming platform um we have lots of great kids shows and things right. for them to watch um, <laughs> that are very family platform. friendly and teaching them the truth of god's word um and Far teaching out. them problems with again the evolutionary worldview and these ideas Splash that are mountain? coming from the oh. Secular culture, how to, to confront them, how to give answers. And that's what we really want to do is being equipping and educating our young people. So check out answers.tv because it's a lot better than mm -hmm. a lot of those other streaming platforms out yeah. there. Okay. Because yeah, it's very it's much better because it'll be easier to indoctrinate indoctrinate your kids if you remove them from society. Um, you cut out the people in your life that um, are who who do not subscribe to your ideology, and you make sure that your children are totally and utterly dependent on you for all of your um, learning and knowledge, and you do not let them um, participate in society. And then you just kick them out the door as soon as they do something like that, that goes against your uh, fucking cult programming and uh, never speak to them again. Problem solved. And did you ever see how normalized racism is in America as an actual POC? I have not and will never. I will never have that experience. Um, yeah. I will never have that experience. Not even if I move to another country. Um, because anything I experience in those other countries will be like that of a tourist. Um, and as someone who can just run back home um, if things go wrong. And, you know, uh, having that privilege to do so changes the perspective of how people treat you in a lot of ways. Like, you will, I will never be able to, I will never be in a position where, where, um, the mistakes I make in a country which... Fuck off! Um, yeah. NM plol? What's that mean? Noob plol. Ice Age wolf DNA reveals dog dogs trace ancestry to two separate wolf populations. Okay. So everyone, they were like, oh, it's about genetics. Georgia can handle that because I, I'm a That's geneticist, right. well, yeah, so. Gonna... Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, this is t this is taking an interesting turn. Where are they going to go with this? Wait a second, what are they doing here? Are they going to, like, start doing, like, the whole... Are they doing anti-evolution anti stuff now? Are they going to go with the anti-evolution stuff? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Um... <laughs> But really, I mean, what this is, the big question is, when and how did dogs first become domesticated, okay? Because everyone knows that, you know, dogs and wolves are obviously in the same family. As creationists, we would say they're in the same kind. They can breed with one another. They can produce offspring. So um, really what we're seeing is just variation from those two dogs that were on. Can they, though? Like, horses and horses and donkeys can mate, but then the, the uh, offspring can't um, propagate further. Mules are are um, 
um, sterile. On the ark, variation within that kind. Um, but still, how did they become domestic? Because obviously some dogs are wild and some right. are not. And so what this study shows... Hey, happy Puritan. How do, you, how do you like the idea of my, um, my, my nephews being taught that uh, I'm an abomination? So in looking at DNA from ancient DNA from ancient wolves um, that they have is that um, it's possible that it was two, either there was like one domestication event from two different population or that domestication happened, no, I'm sorry, no, more than one. So domestication happened in two areas from different populations that mixed together or there was, happened only once and they came from two different areas. So they don't really know. I mean, genetics can only tell you so much. Um, so they're still trying to figure out exactly what that means. I personally wouldn't be surprised if domestication happened in multiple places among multiple populations after the flood because if you think about it, it's not easy. Holy Did she really? Did she fucking really? Did she fucking really do that? Oh. Oh, she believes the flood was a real thing. Oh. Holy shit. Yes, the chat needs to pray now. Mm -hmm. Pray unto me, your demon lord queen. I shall... Send all your blessings up to Jesus, my master! Ha ha ha! Gotcha! I was Christian all along. But like, they they basically nothing. No, like, they 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 don't though. No, they don't have Puritan. These kinds of creationists are actually are the actual fucking crazy kind that think that don't believe that shit. Um, I don't know Papi Puritan, I just know with the horses and donkeys, they, they can't produce, um, fertile offspring, so I don't know. I like people, like, her just offhand saying that dogs and wolves can breed and everything's fine, um, I have a problem with because I want to know if that's true, and I'm not going to put my faith in someone who believes that the flood happened and talks about it casually as if it's a fucking fact! What the fuck? You're a fucking molecular biologist. Ah! Uh, that was a huge flooding event because it's a common myth all across the world. There, yeah, Vic, I think that's wonderful. I think it's cool if you have a belief. That's wonderful. Keep it out of the fucking classroom and out of science. You can believe that there was a flooding event. Leave it up to anthropolo anthropologists and historians and archaeologists to come up with that shit. Not molecular biologists who believe in Noah's flood. Please. Don't. Don't. Don't screw with me with that shit. Because they also believe that it happened within the last 4,000 years. And we would have that. We would have evidence of that if it actually happened in the last 4,000 years. We didn't have an ice age. Uh, we didn't have a global warming event in that time span. <laughs> uh, you believe the donkey talked? I've seen a house fly, I've seen a dragon fly, but I ain't never seen a donkey fly! Uh. Go even for animals necessarily to go uh, like just just the way that she starts talking science stuff and then throws in oh yeah they're probably after the flood point a to point b so you could see that happening i mean dogs are man's best friend so i mean th th i think those things could definitely be happening well hot dog we didn't have to say anything <sighs> well hot dog <laughs> <laughs> holy shit there's no more to be said <laughs> No, apparently the Leviathan um, is is proof that dinosaurs were around within the last six thousand years, according to these people. Literally, according to these people, Happy Puritan, the reference to the Leviathan is what they use to teach children, six-year-old kids, that the world is six thousand years old and dinosaurs and humans live together. Ben S. No. I'm not sure. Are there dragons in the Bible? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Shabibo! 
Sha you mean you mean Sharpie Ben? Well, and what they did was they they found these ancient wolves, and so ben they had um, old DNA. And mm -hmm. you know, we were talking backstage a little bit, Georgia, yeah. that you have concerns about. Yeah, you got to be careful with ancient DNA because. <sighs> DNA is not very stable. It can break apart pretty Ooh. easily, especially after an organism dies. Drop me a link. And so they say the half-life for DNA is... I'm, I'm, fuck, I'm fucking 100% for people debunking creationism because this is fucked. This is fucked. Keep your fucking... If you have bullshit opinions, okay, that's one thing. But, like, if you're teaching kids bullshit, actually anti-science points, fuck off! Fuck off with that shit! No! Bad Christian! No! Stop it! Bad Christian! Don't you dare do that! It's fucking wrong! These are kids! Don't fuck with kids! Assholes. Normally about 500 years, which means after about a thousand years, you really shouldn't be able to find it intact anymore. And if these are supposedly uh, 32,000 years old, which they really aren't, but um, even even 4,000 years old, like after the flood, it's going to oh, be a fuck you! DNA. <laughs> They're really not. Yeah, this is even 4,000 years ago after the flood. Fuck you! You're not a real scientist. What and the fuck? Fuck off! Uh, I'm more. I'm. I'm the better fucking source. The new. Holy shit. What the fuck? Fucking hell. What the fuck? So I always have a little bit. If they were in permafrost or they were in something where they were frozen, frozen yeah. there's more of a chance of that, I think. But um, but I still think we kind of hedge a little bit on that or be a little right, cautious Right, because it's, it's so segmented, it's probably tough. Right, right. Um, you know, when I think of dogs, you know, they've got two dogs coming off a of Noah's Ark. You're going to get different populations in different areas. So this actually makes sense mm -hmm. from a creationist perspective. I think this is a good fast, uh, uh, confirmation of what we'd read in God's Word. Uh, you know, I love a lot of history and, uh, you know, uh, where I went to college was Southern Illinois University at Carbondale and their, their mascot was a Saluki. It's a dog. It's an ugly dog, but it's a really fast dog. Uh, but apparently Salukis go back to ancient Egypt. It's one of the oldest mm -hmm. dog breeds. Uh, there are also some ancient greyhounds uh, from the Middle East as well, even though there's places in Europe that have particular greyhounds as well uh, that have some uh, history there too. So some of these yeah. really are ancient breeds. So, you know, not long after the, the flood, you know, people could start doing breeding with dogs uh, from that stage. So it actually makes sense. I, I was actually kind of fucking breeders from our own fascinated oh, by this yeah. once again they get the dates wrong though yeah. well and two just it is kind of amazing what we can do with genetics we're learning yeah. more and more about what we can trace and uh, right here at answers in genesis we have dr nathaniel jeanson who's a harvard trained geneticist and he's written a book called fucking take it back take it back take your take take the fucking take take their fucking um yeah Demand that he returns his fucking doctorate, because at this point, like, yeah, no, no, stop it, you need, you need to, you need, you need Jesus, you need Jesus, far out, these people. Traced, and he looks at human genetics, and how, and the fascinating thing is, if you, if you look at what he's finding, and not just him, but secular scientists as well, is that these um, Y chromosome genomes go back to three original males, and when... Noah got yeah. off the ark. He had three <laughs> sons mm -hmm. that started different populations. Oh so fascinating gosh. things that can be discovered. That you can kind of trace history in yeah. genetics. I mean, oh you really can to gosh, some degree. And no. so, but one of the things too they end the article with is talking about natural selection, and and they then equate that with evolution. And that's something that we have to yeah. be really careful of because natural selection is an is an observable process that occurs even in the present, and it's something we can see. Evolution is something that has occurred over a long period of time. Uh, natural selection leads to different variation within the dog kind so we have domestic dogs and we have wild dogs but um when it comes to evolution you're talking one kind of animal becoming a different kind right. of animal like Which dinosaurs never and a bird observed. totally different so right. that's not really the mechanism by which things evolved it's just the mechanism by which you can have this variation within the dog kind yep. so. yeah so that's 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 where they differ happy puritan they they think that um they they think that evolution they don't understand evolution Evolution happens over a long period of time, but it happens in bursts over short periods of time. 
So they're short bursts over long periods of time, usually through extinction events, the survivors of that um, particular part, you know, moving ahead with that. It's just anti-science fucking bullshit at the end of the day. Just complete and utter tosh. Tosh 1.0 or whatever the fucking show is called. It, it, it's, it's disgusting that and that's teaching this shit to children. Again, I cannot reiterate how fucked that is. I, I, I just can't. I can't, I can't reiterate that how, just how fucked this is. Holy shit. Holy okay, shit. Okay, from dogs to pandas. How pandas survive solely on bamboo evolutionary history. Okay, it's really not the evolutionary history. <laughs> uh, what, they, what they basically find is a fossil of what they consider a, an, a, a panda. It's still a panda, but maybe different, just like we have sloths today, but they're variations. different from... Yeah, there's just variations from what they looked like maybe a couple thousand years ago. But they found that... Um, so, so pandas have sort of an opposable thumb, um, like humans do, and so they found that the fossil panda had a longer opposable thumb than pandas do today and so but that it's evolved to basically help it eat the bamboo like hold it like chew it and walk at the same time or move around at the same time that's right um yeah so that's why we that's why they have a sort of a opposable thumb <laughs> interesting and they insert their evolutionary suppositions that these animals have evolved from carnivorous ancestors that you know they come from kinds of animals that would have eaten meat and looking at their teeth you would probably think that they would eat meat but yeah. they eat bamboo but when you look in genesis genesis 127 i think it oh, is that talks about um that in the beginning god gave the beasts the green every green thing to eat just like us and so originally no! everything was vegetarian <laughs> and so they talk about how giant pandas traded an omnivorous diet of meat and berries to quietly consuming bamboos but what they don't consider with their blinders on mm -hmm. is that perhaps they were designed to be vegetarian originally and those right. teeth are awesome at chewing up bamboo. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and that yeah, they didn't definitely. lose that trait, but they just have kept the right. trait that they were given originally. Yeah, uh, you know, I love using pandas actually in my dinosaur talk. But... Evolution is wrong. Trust, trust Genesis. Trust, you know what? Like um, lions and mice used to talk together. Uh, to each other, and mice were good at pulling out uh, splinters. <coughs> Source? Oh, I read it in Aesop's Fables. Fucking hell. This is this is a vegetarian creationist. He's just like, oh yeah, they, 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 everything science has taught us is wrong, but look at the Bible. It says that like people used to eat, all the animals used to not eat uh, that sort of stuff. This is like, fucking hell. Holy shit. Yeah, legit. Too legit to quit. At the end of the day, oh my gosh, this is just, this is just painful. This is painfully bad. Because, you know, they have very sharp teeth. They do. And a lot of times people think, oh, they got sharp teeth, that means they're a meat eater. Well, <laughs> no, not necessarily. A lot of animals have sharp teeth that <laughs> eat things like bamboo in this instance. Right. You know, there's some animals with duller teeth <laughs> that actually do tear into some meat. I mean, so teeth just like means us. that they have sharper or, or, or dull teeth. Uh, but yeah, originally, you know, mankind and the animals, they were all vegetarian. You know, that's right there at the end of uh, Genesis, uh, right before uh, God declared. Please, get some fucking help. This is, this is just not okay to be like, why are you like this? Why? Why are you like this? There's everything very good in Genesis 131. So, I mean, yeah, that's, you know, we expect to see that sort of thing. You got to watch out for the storytelling. That's what they're doing. They're throwing the storytelling about, well, maybe this was a meat eater, um, but they have no evidence for that sort of thing. What the, what the, um, yes, they do. You know, You're just uh, ignoring I, I the evidence. Here, the way that they wrote this article. Uh, let me just give you a little uh, instance here. Through of course, there's no. History, of the course, there's no evidence if you don't fucking believe that the evidence exists. How are you supposed to have a conversation with these people? Literally, this is just fucking cult shit. This is literal fucking cult grooming that they're teaching my fucking nephews. And this hand has never. Okay, let's just stop right there. 
through its long evolutionary history, that's from called Twitter, a, twice. Uh, un, uh, argued philosophical bias in science. They're assuming a particular religious worldview, assuming you agree with it, and then they're going to try to build on that. So, you know, that's one of the things we try to do here. When you're reading these types of articles, spot those kind of things and step back and go, is this really the case? You know, if we start with God, who knows everything and can't lie, his word is perfect. Guess what? God disagrees with these guys. Um, so, and that's it at the end of the day. Like, I, 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 I interpret the Bible this way, but since my interpretation is that of a uh, God, uh, that means that my interpretation can never be wrong. Yep. Cool. Sounds, sounds, sounds legit, my dude. Sounds pretty fucking legit. Holy shit. Too much talk of lobsters, yeah. Little lobsters! No! Stay away from the lobsters. The lobsters are my friends. Fuck you, woke lobsters! Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Is the research great? Yeah, actually it is. They found yeah. this old panda. It's got a longer uh, thumb-like thing <laughs> that they used to, to grab on with. Clean your own it's, it's not it was, an evolutionary change. Right, and the fossils don't show the evolutionary history. Like, that's right. what they're trying to say. It's, well, the fossils show that it was longer and now it's shorter. Mm -hmm. So that somehow shows how it evolved. It doesn't show that at all. It just shows mm -hmm. that the fossil one had a longer one than the ones we have today. I mean, it's just... Yes, 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 because now, we, now, we now understand that evolution happens, like, over long period of times with short bursts. Like, that's why we understand this shit. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Y you call- you- you- the- this person graduated. This person from gradu- this person graduated and got their student debt, like, forgiven. Just want you to, like, think about that for a second there. They graduated and they had their student debt forgiven. Okay? Yeah? Yeah? Y'all happy with that? Hmm? Hmm? Gonna turn me into a fucking conservative now. Ron DeSantis, 2022? 20, I don't know what, when you're, like, voting shit is happening. Oh Some variation there for whatever reason. Yeah. And um, so it, it's not helping us know how that opposable thumb on a panda evolved. It doesn't Ron show Death us Santin. that. Right. Um, it just shows us that Shay it Tan? had it and yeah. it was shorter now. Okay, right. so again, it, it's just like when you read that, it, what is it really showing us, you know? And it's showing us God's great, grand design of the panda, okay, mm -hmm. to be able to, um, uh, the panda kind, to be able to do this. And that's fine. It's yeah. not development, it's design of it. Well, you so. know, in an evolutionary worldview, they have different models, uh, if you will. You know, what some are of the you ancient Epicureans, about? Uh, the Epicureans are actually mentioned in Acts chapter 17. Paul was arguing against the Epicureans. They were actually evolutionists. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you move forward, there was a, a, a type of evolution from Jean Lamarck, and that's called Lamarckian evolution. I, I don't know if you guys remember the old textbooks, you know, with the, the giraffe, if it's got a long enough head, it keeps reaching up, it's going to get longer. And if that's good, it gets passed along, that's called Lamarckian evolution. Nobody agrees with that one anymore because we can test that it doesn't work. And what happened was Darwin then came along and he said, well, maybe this process of natural selection will lead to evolution. Mm -hmm. Well, I noticed in this particular article, they're really appealing to Lamarckian evolution. And a lot of evolutionists don't realize they're appealing to an old model that even the evolutionists don't necessarily agree with uh, when they were trying to do this. You know, they think, oh, well, this type of a, a thumb, oh, well, that's good. That gets passed along. It's the same thing as the giraffe type of uh, Lamarckian evolution. Yeah. So I know it's a long explanation in that, but there are different models. And right. some of these models have been thrown out. Sometimes people bring them up and you don't even realize it. Yep, yep. Okay, Biden's global initiative to replace Christianity with atheism faces GOP backlash. Okay, what? so this is about a program, and it has a very long title, um, called DRL FY20 IRF, okay. promoting and defending religious freedom inclusive of atheist, humanist, non-practicing, and non-affiliated individuals. Okay, that oh, sounds okay. like a government title. <laughs> First so off, okay, very long, yeah. very very complex, but the basic idea of... Isn't that, isn't that something trying to, like, um, defend uh, the First Amendment? Isn't that like reinforcing the First Amendment within um, legislation, or am I not understanding this properly? Is there something about this that I'm not understanding? Because this sounds fine to me. Uh, like, 
really like this doesn't seem to be an issue like to me I, why why is this scary I mean, oh, fucking hell like can we like can we like be honest about some shit here like can we talk about how um Christianity was only put like you know one nation under God was only like a recent thing in America can we talk about that for a second can we like be honest for once about how things developed can we talk about this at the very least can we like can we do something other than promote absolute Ludditism at the end of the day can we can we do better stop get some help founding fathers weren't perfect no of course not Fuck the Founding part Fathers. They were racist cunts. But, like, y'all, you know that we can do better, right? You know that people can do better, right? That's, that's a thing that people do. It's called better. People do it all the time. Many people are saying this. Yeah. Agreed. This particular initiative is to promote, with funding, atheism and humanism um, in the marketplace. That's what they're trying wait, to do. Wait, what? No, now, imagine no, if they... Wait, no, no, they're just trying to... In the marketplace? Fucking hell! Christians talking about marketplaces pisses me off. You're not real fucking Christians. Took a religion like Christianity or, you know, Baptists or Lutherans or mm -hmm. Presbyterians or whoever and said, hey, you know what? Let's fund this and, and take this around the world. They did that. It was it was when they added one nation under God to the Constitution, I wanna say. But like Yeah. They 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 did that. They did that! You had that for a while and now it's time to stop with it. Please. Get get do some do better. Be better. Not the Constitution? Okay. Well, that's good at least. Why can't I do this? Yes, that's how I do this. Sometimes I just want to, like, fucking yeet. This world just makes me want to yeet. Do you think there'd be lawsuits left, right, and center? Absolutely there would be. See, sometimes people don't realize atheism, humanism, these things that are taught in schools, that are in the secular media, that even the government is trying to impose here, these are religious views. Government's not trying to impose, that's like your own um, weird fucking interpretation of it. Prove it. Fucking justify it already. You can't. God save the queen. Yeah, all of the people like doing the the queen shit at the moment. I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck off, bootlickers. Not sorry. Not even gonna say the first sorry. I'm not for saying that. Y'all are weird if you are sad that the queen's dead. I'm so. No, I'm not gonna say the, say the first one. I'm just gonna say that. Fucking weirdos. The Queen did the Queen did Gough Whitlam. Look it up. Fuck the Queen. Viewpoints. Uh, you know, and, and an easy way to tell if a religion is religious, uh, for example, is does it have contrary claims to Christianity? Guess what? They do. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, atheism says there's no God. According to the Bible, there is a God. <laughs> so you see, all of a sudden they have... Oh! You heard it here first, y'all. There is a god. Source? The Bible. Good source! Yeah! That's definitely, like, the best source that you can use. That's not circular logic at all. That's... That's... That's incredible. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Like... That's... 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 That's ridiculously silly. That's not 
That's so fucking stupid. Everyone is religious. Yeah, of course they are. They just have different religions. Most people, most people worship uh, capitalism. That's the main religion these days. But my gosh, holy shit. Okay. Conflicting religious Source. viewpoints right there. It is a religion, and yet here it is getting funding uh, to be taken all over the world. They're talking about awarding one to two grants of up to half a million dollars through a competitive process to organizations that are committing to, quote, strengthening networks, which um, a network would be like a church, you know, a network of people that have the same belief system, mm -hmm. and, quote, mm -hmm. advocacy. Oh, the, so the, the sources? The trust the circles. Tr just trust the circles, bro. Trust the circles. Just re remember to trust the circles. When in doubt, trust the circles. Can't go wrong with the circles. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. Happy Puritan. But it's just like if we're talking about religion, as in like aspects of what we believe, which aren't based on. Um, uh, anything other than what we personally believe, then yes, everyone does that. It's just some people are a little bit more honest about where that comes from, whether it's a higher power or, or ourselves. In which case, you know, I won't say that it comes from ourselves. Nihilists. Depends on what you mean by nihilists. Anyway, I'm not for getting atheism, into that humanism, and non-practicing religious. Fuck so, that. that's evangelism. So they're funding a church to do evangelism to push their ideology, basically. Yeah, Half a million exactly. dollars. Yeah. I mean, it's just as much of a religion as Christianity is, because it has certain beliefs. It has evangelist. It has certain ways mm -hmm. that it's trying to promote itself. But this time, the government's. So basically, all you heard it here first. All advertising is religion. Because because it, cause, cause, because the people uh, evangelize, they they tell other people to buy their products. Yeah, you know? it's the logic, bro. It's logical, bros. Jeez. Yeah. Actually, um, you know, funding it, and and I am glad there's been backlash. That's really good, right? People standing up against it and saying, hey, you can't do this. Like, you can't. This would be religious funding. This would be the government supporting and and giving money to these things. And if you're going to give it to them, then really you would have to give it to everybody, whether you're Buddhist. Well, I mean, like, cool. I'm down with that. But how, so how we how how about we remove uh, tax-free uh, exemptions to um, like religious causes and also. Uh, make it so that um yeah make make the church pay tax as a start and uh if we want equality um also how about we start uh how about we start doing some stuff capital is a false idol and all that along yeah yeah no i, I that that's definitely my, my thing on buddhist schools what so then they can start killing killing christians in um in uh, other countries <laughs> Mirror brain prosperity gospel, yeah. Or, or Muslim or Christian or whatever. Um, and obviously they're not going to do that. So, um, <laughs> especially for Christians. So it, it's good to see. I hope that people will continue to speak up against this stuff because this is how programs die. <laughs> yes. Um, by doing this. Yep. So. And this is tax dollars too, by the way. Yes, Keep exactly. That in mind. Exactly. So. The GOP in their statement wrote, it's one thing for the department to be tolerant and respectful of a wide range of belief systems, but it's quite another for the United States government to work actively to empower atheists, yeah. humanists, etc. Yeah, not supposed to do that. Okay, a new look at the mineral kingdom. Not supposed to do that. Bad government. We no, we didn't life. let you. Okay, so this is we didn't basically let you do that. talking about the, these mineralogists have looked at all the different ways that minerals can form. And so this has been spread out about... Uh, uh, in a lot of different papers and books and things like that. So what they kind of did is researched all of that and took it all and put it in one place, which is cool. I mean, it's good to organize things like that so researchers can understand it better and, and all. And so what they basically come up with, though, is that um, 
is that mineral, how minerals evolve. I mean, they're not obviously living <laughs> things, so they're not right. evolving in the same sense. But talking about mineral evolution and how that's how they've decided to arrange this and organize this. So, so it's sort of like what we would call, what evolutionists call cladistics. That's how they, they arrange organisms according to how they think they're evolutionarily related. So they're kind of doing the same thing, the sort of cladistics for minerals, um, how they formed. And, and so then they put that all together. And, and so they say this may help us understand understand better how life evolved in the first place. Right, so they're assuming evolution to make an argument for evolution. Exactly. This man just just used a circular logic comeback for Chris, pro, pro, pro Christianity point. This guy just did that, didn't he? Like that's that's that, that's 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 what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing right now. Holy shit! Oh, I hate these people. These people are so fucked. They're so fucked in the head. Seriously, why? Ugh. That's affirming the consequent fallacy. Yeah. That's like begging yeah. the question. The circular argument. Um, you know, over and over again, I what? saw in here, if every mineral tells a story, or down here, three different diamonds might tell three different stories. Hold it. If They're talking about the way minerals, like, evolve, like, talking about the way that um, things, the, the, the stars dying created new elements and that sort of thing, so that we can find, like, a better time, better way to use time spans in order to look for planets um, in that, you know, that sweet spot. That's what they're talking about. Not whatever the bullshit your fucking spouting is. Like, what do you, what do you mean? <sighs> minerals are talking to you. There's, you have a bigger problem. <laughs> you need okay. to see someone. Minerals don't tell stories. Yeah. People do. Yeah. So here's what it is. They're looking at these different minerals. They're studying them. And then they're trying to come up with a religious history, uh, an origin story, an evolutionary story, if you will, for those different minerals. Now, see, what? when we start with God and his word, God made the world mineral rich. Uh, God created everything in six days, rested on the seventh. Oh, fuck you. Dude, the minerals that we're talking about here were created by, like, a repetition of suns being born and dying. Like, that's where it comes from. Come on, no, don't give us this pseudoscientific bullshit. This is not real. This is not. Oh, this is, they're teaching this to children. They're teaching this to my fucking nephews. Go, oh, fuck yourself. Seriously, stay away. Like, yeah, hey, you get angry at fucking, at, at people like me for, like, grooming. Um, stay the fuck away from my kid, from, from my family and my kids. Yeah, Hillsong comes from Australia. We gave you that one. So, uh... Uh-huh. Suckers. Whether here on Earth or the other uh, planetary bodies or stars and so forth, God made things mineral rich. That's not a problem for an all-powerful God. That's all too easy. Um, and he designed the world in such a way to make it habitable for us here. So yeah, we're going to get all sorts of different things. Uh, this evidence doesn't speak for itself. You know, it has to be interpreted. The question is, are you going to use God and his word to understand these minerals and different materials? Or are you going to use the secular worldview uh, to try to look at it? And that's what it is. It's a battle over worldviews yeah. here. I'm going to use the world that God uh, created to explain God's creation. Like, that's a no-brainer for me. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna use the scientific uh, knowledge that we've uh, grown through the study of God's great works. Don't know what you're using, but uh, doesn't it seems to be quite uh, anti-God in a way when when we're looking at it here. Like it seems to be very much um, against God's creation. Um. Yeah. This doesn't seem right to me. Just saying. Two. Uh, is it one, two? Yeah. It's gonna be. I have to get 
an even extra one. You know, they um, found that both water is often needed to form minerals as they kind of organize the system. Water was really important and life. Um, actually, living organisms help to develop different kinds oh, of minerals. Are you fucking kidding me? Are they, they're going to say the flood, the flood created minerals. The flood, I'm calling it now, the flood created Noah's Ark. That, that's why God, God uh, genocided the world to make, to make rocks. Actually, that's pretty based, but... And they make the comment that life, therefore, may have formed almost as soon as Earth did. And then one of the paleobiologists is quoted as saying, that would be a very, very profound implication, that the potential for life is baked in at the very beginning of a planet. And yet, when we read Genesis 1, life was baked in right at the very beginning, like yeah. starting with day four or whatever it was. And they want to, and the reason they want to keep pushing this back, so they get excited if they think they can push back when life began. And the reason for that, and I say this over and over again, because if evolution, evolution is just based on random chance, okay? Random chance things that happen so that life evolved, you need more time because life is very complex. And the more that people study mm -hmm. life, the more they realize this. So the further back they keep trying to push it because they need more time if you're just depending on chance. It increases mm -hmm. your chances, so to speak, if you have more time. So it, it, it's always interesting whenever I see something like this. You know, right now the oldest life is considered to be about three and a half billion years old, but they would love to push it back another billion to when, when the planet even formed, which is supposedly four and a half billion years ago. You know when it's they want to push it even into <laughs> outer space, In which gives it even more time, and, right. and then it somehow came to Earth. So that you keep seeing that over and over again, um, trying to do that because they're realizing the impossibility of their own quote unquote scientific ideas. Right, even even what? four or five billion years in their that's worldview isn't enough. That's literally just projection at this point. Like that that I could say exactly the same thing about you. You realize that your your ideas are pretty ridiculous. You believe in shit that, that that's not real. Like like this isn't how this, this isn't how we know things exist. You are pushing propaganda, which goes against, quite in a quite literal way, goes against God's creation. Like, this is, like, literally, to me, more heretic than anything else. This is heretical shit, because they are um, completely dismissing God's creation. And, like... If we can study it, God created it. And that's what you need to fucking deal with, bitch. Not, like, whether scientists have it right or not, because, like, that's not the argument here. It's a huge fucking problem. What? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Fuck you. Continue. We have to, to develop life and, and have it evolve and what do we have? You know, it's interesting you said they're, they're trying to point it to other places out there. Uh, there's a quote in here from an astrobiologist. Uh, Dr. Purdom, what? What is an astrobiologist? Well, That's astrobiology is a field in which there is absolutely no evidence for, but yet somehow they manage to do science. That's <laughs> what I always say because yeah. there is no evidence for life in outer space. There's no, mm -hmm. there's none. And yeah. so, how do you have anything to study? I don't understand that. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. But. Yeah, if we just step back and look at this from a big picture, what Cause, they're cause, doing because it's a thing that's worth studying, like. Because the implications would be pretty cool, like, if life could survive in space, like, that's a pretty cool idea, and that would, like, help us understand how life formed and, and how to find life, um, outside of Earth, like, to save ourselves. Hey, it's a cheer! Ooh, ooh. Wait. Yay! Cheering! Hey, hey. And so they're trying to develop a story, mm -hmm. an evolutionary story to explain the origin of minerals. Yep. And 
you know what, there just isn't one. And that's why, you know, you just see story after story in here, but there isn't anything to actually go back to. There's right. just, it's there's a chain of stories, really. Yeah. Trying to a chain explain of stories, the yeah. first life. Yeah. 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 Okay. And so the last one here, a carnivorous plant that traps prey underground is the first of its kind to be discovered. And so this is a, you know, most of the time you think of like Venus fly traps or pitcher plants or sundew, you know, they trap insects and eat them, so to speak. Um, but this one um, actually lives underground. So it's a type of pitcher plant, it's a species that lives underground. And you thought it was really cool, like actually how they found this particular pitcher right. plant. Right. So they were walking in this forested area and they noticed the leaves that looked very much like this type of plant, but none of them had the pitchers or the little buckets that the critters fall down into and die in. And so they were just fascinated by this, and um, they didn't think to look underground, but at one area, some of the earth had kind of eroded away, and there was a little bright red um, pitcher showing right. up. So they started digging and looking, and so almost serendipitously, they came across the discovery of these um, things that trapped animals underneath the ground. Right, little beetles and stuff right. that, that dig around under earth the ground. And and, <laughs> yep. And, you know, having been a research scientist, I think that it's, it is kind of interesting how often I think some of the funnest stories in science come from the... the accident or the mistake that somebody made that came along to be a right. really great discovery, like antibiotics or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually thought this was kind of neat. Now, big picture though, once again, but this is after... That's confirmation bias. Like, yes, this is a thing, but also um, you're forgetting about the countless um, scientific discoveries that were made by people who don't... Who, like, by, like, all of this stuff, like... This stuff is the only reason you hear about like that kind of uh, those kind of discoveries is because they're amazing and we like see them. It's like why you can like get this idea about human beings, which is really like weird and flawed by just by watching, you know, like compilations of people doing really cool shit. You know what I mean? Right, there's a plant to eat my heaps and dreams that's already buried under a pile of garbage. Is it me? Am I the pile of garbage? Okay, that doesn't look right at all. Why is that a thing? Oh, it's because it's diagonal. Dang it, I did the wrong one. That's why they're all going to look weird, but not anymore. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Oh, the echo in the way. Fuck you. After the fall of mankind, that's when death and suffering came into the world. So, you know, sometimes there, there might be cursed design. In Genesis chapter 3, God cursed the serpent. That's going to crawl on its belly. There was a... These people will talk about there being absolutely no fucking proof about, um, like, sci like, actual scientific stuff and then go on to use examples of biblical stories in order to, like, debunk it. I... I this is fucking insane. Stop teaching kids this. This is fucked. Hey, hey, oh, Nola with the Nola with the pickup line. That's a good one. But what the fuck is wrong with these people? This is this is this is what they're teaching in um my nephew's class. This is the kind of shit that they're getting uh, taught. The curse that involved apologetics. And thistles. You know, getting taught apologetics. Kind of uh, particularly in Genesis chapter 3, there could be revealed information and so forth. But in a sin, cursed, and broken world, things are no longer upheld in a perfect state. So sometimes it's good to have that mentality when we're looking at carnivorous plants or even carnivorous. Do you know what else is cursed and broken? Your dad's butt cherry after I consensually fucked him. Carnivory, you know, for other animals and so forth. You know, God originally made the world perfect. It's because of man's sin, the death and suffering came into the world. And that's why we need a new heavens and a new earth. This one's cursed and broken. That's why we need a savior to save us from sin and death. And uh, that's... And, and there's, and, and there's the cult speak. There's the, there's the, um, there's, oh, what did they call it? There's, uh, oh, Zion. Yeah, Zion. Fucking Zion. Anyone who knows anything about, uh, like, Mormon cults? And it, when I, when I, when I mention Zion, you should, uh, yeah. Yeah. Zion, uh, it not, it, it not the good, nah. Fundy, fu fuck fundies. Fundamentalists who believe in the literal, the, who are literal, I mean, I guess you could, uh, call them maybe literalists, if you really wanted to be, like, you know, weird about it, but. 
and you're just being weird about it. Yeah, but I'm talking about Christian Zionists, the the death cult uh, Christians, the people who who think that um, who who want um, who, the the people who support uh, Israel, the the Israeli and um, uh, um, oh, what's it called state? I guess I can't remember what the fucking word is for it. It's called uh, there's a word for 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 what I'm thinking of. There is a word, but I cannot remember it. <sighs> yeah. Basically, yeah. I don't know who Austin is. But he sounds like a jackass. Ha <laughs> ha! Your famous jackass. Fight me. Uh, in the person of Jesus Christ. When he uh, died, uh, he took the infinite punishment from the infinite Father. And uh, it's through the blood of Jesus Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection makes salvation possible. So even when looking at stuff like this, uh, there's a relationship between that and the gospel. It's kind of interesting, too, because they actually thought when they just would see the leaves and not the pictures above the ground, anyway, they I've actually had thought enough it of was these evolving. <laughs> um, once there's that word again, even though... I've had enough of these cunts. Fuck them. So, yeah. Um... Hey, welcome back, S SGR 7th. But, like, um, yeah, like, I wasn't joking before. Like, this is, this is the shit that's being taught at, um, my, my nephew's school right now. This is, this is the, the these are the materials. They, they, they've got, um, a website. Like, oh, Menomini! Fuck no donations. Answers. In generous, the world, the world is a mess. That's right. That's why you should give money to us. Give money to us because the world is a mess, and only I know the way. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, what the fuck? Are human rights ever wrong? What the fuck have I stumbled down? Oh. Again, so th these are teaching resources. Teaching resources. Oh, fucking hell, the thing isn't working. Hold on. I need to add tags. I don't know how to do it. Hey guys, Paul in the chat. I'm doing it. Let's do a poll. Where is it? Where's the manage poll? New poll. There we go. Are human rights ever wrong? Oh, fuck, this is, this is so fucking... This, 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 this is so wrong. I mean...
What would you like for dinner? Yes or no? And you see you're trying the funnies by using the word fundies. It's separatist spell and dominus. Hi, oh, good morning, Sun Sword! Hey, guess what? We're talking about um, the school resources that are being used at my uh, nephew's school. They're being taught that... Um, my, my cute little six-year-old is being taught why transgender surgeries ruin lives. It's just bad when he uses anything aside from an insult. I am absolutely insulting people. Um, how clever do you think the person who wrote the article thinks they are? Um, uh, I, Brian Osborne. In the art of teaching? Holy fuck! Look at the fucking Snapchat filter on his face! Look at the- look at those, look at those fucking eyes! Brian Osborne! Hmm? Oh, actually, you know what? Oh my gosh, what the fuck? Okay. It, I swear, it looks different on that, on the top screen than it looks at the bottom screen. What the fuck? Hold on. Hold on, I just, I just, just, just print screening this. Holy shit. Amazing. Amazing! Fucking hell. I, I, I just need to do it. I just need to do something. I just need to do something with this. Okay. Um, I hope I don't dox myself by doing this, but I just, I just need to do something quickly to, uh, There we go. There we go. I don't have, like, fancy Photoshop, so you're gonna have to, like, be, be, like, fine with this. But I need to do this because I saw his face and I'm just like, yeah, this is, this is, this is how his face is supposed to look. Where's the smudge tool? Smudge. Smudge. Do I have a smudge tool? It's pan. Eraser. I don't think I've got a smudge tool. Oh, there. That's it. That that that's what is that that's it. That's it. That that that's it. I I can't. I don't know how to do that. I, like with with this, I would have to mask it and do all that stuff. There's not even a um. There's a there's a recolor tool which uh, might work. Hold on. Yeah. Ah. It's a recolor look. What is the, the tool? Clone stamp, gradient, move, magic wand. No, there doesn't seem to be a thing for it. But uh, let's see if I can fix it a little bit. Uh. uh alt. That. No. Control. Alt. That. No. How do I do that? Tool. Recolor. Oh, that's the recolor. Clone stamp is what I'm looking for. Alt. Alt. Control click. Control click. Alright, cool. 15. Yeah, there we go. Control click. Yeah, there we go. Ah! Oh yeah, this is this reminds me of the old school days. The old school days of how to 
how to do this shit. There we go, that'll do. Amazing. Jay's vault shit. But yeah, this is this is this is this is the man. I, he looks very, very happy with himself. He does look very happy with himself. Yes. 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 Fucking yes. I didn't click that. I clicked the lasso select. Lasso select. Dang it. Wait, that's not the lasso select. What the fuck is going on? There we go. There we go. Do it really fast and shit. Whoops. Whoopsies. Sorry, right. I know how to. Fix this. Delete. Background. Oh shit, he's like in there, isn't he? <sighs> oh, there we go. There we go. Fuck yes. Crop it. Crop it. And it now exists. Ah, cancel. There we go. Woo! Art. Who needs? I did that faster than Dally could. See, give me a job as your AI like creator, Photoshop creator, using Paint.net. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Oh, um, it's a, it's an AI generating software. But yeah, former public schools teacher. Fucking good. All right, that's uh, five hundred is a little bit too. Ooh, four twenty. No, as as God's, as God's image bearers, humans are entitled uh, to certain rights, but the creator, not culture, makes the rules. According to the United Nations website, human rights are rights inherent to all human beings, regardless of race, sex, nationality, ethnicity, language, religion, or any other status. Human rights include the right to life and liberty, freedom from slavery and torture, freedom of opinion and expression, the right to work and education, and many more. Everyone is entitled to these rights without discrimination. It's quite common today for an array of cultural voices to appeal to human rights as justification for their ideas and agenda. Dark Crystal Lucy Sex. Hmm. 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 Yes, that's all I know about those Skeksis. That abortion paper from the article. I think he needs that abortion paper from the... Oh, fucking hell.
<laughs> but where do human rights come from? Is everyone really entitled to them? And what happens when these rights conflict with what scripture teaches? Uh, give unto Caesar. Uh, in general, the evolution model explains human rights as a social... Well, fucking hell, they cannot... They, they're stuck on fucking evolution as, as, a, as an evil thing. Oh, for fuck's sake, the evolution model explains human rights. No! Social, social Darwinism is not... Re, is it, That's not... Yeah, yeah, I'm not even going to go into social Darwinism. Of course! <laughs> Neck minute. Neck minute we've got Godwin's Law. Um, how many... How many like, how far down the page is this? This is like not even a quarter... It, it's, it's about a quarter down the page. According to all dicta to according to dictators like Hitler, Stalin, Pol Pot, and Mao, human rights, if they exist at all, come from these the ruling elites, and only some people are worthy to access these rights. <laughs> uh, we see a similar mindset today as communist government of China commits genocide against the Uyghurs, whom they arbitrarily deem undeserving of human rights. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> wait, wait. What's this? What's this? People are going crazy. Human rights. How much does it right way? Yes, had Christians. Religion. Wait, what was this list? Did I miss a list? <laughs> rights might not exist. Then no. people don't deserve rights. No, 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 no. They're saying, they're saying, they're saying that. Religions like Islam with this. Oh my gosh! Oh, even, even, even while criticizing people for uh, hatred against Jewish people, they, they, or they say Jews. Fuck you! Seriously! This guy, this guy, this is, this, this is the guy. This is the guy. This is this is this is this is the face of the guy who wrote this article. Just just wanna this is this is the guy that wrote the article. This is this is the guy. This is the guy here, right here, right now. This is this is who wrote this article, right? This is this is the guy. Religions like Islam with its low Jewish pe Jewish people and infidels or Hinduism with its caste system. Oh, for fuck's sake! Would say human rights originate from some some kind of deity, but don't apply equally to all in all man-made worldviews, which is everything but biblical Christianity. <laughs> fucking hell, mate, mate, take the stick out of your fucking ass. <laughs> Striking! Oh no! Here we go! We got the we got the we got we got the, the LGBT movement. Menemone, these people. This is a teaching resource which is being used to teach my nephews. This is currently being used by the school I that my brother sends his kids to in Australia, in Perth, Western Australia, they are using this to teach children right now. This, like, you can say that this is too, he's too dumb to, um, yeah, good one, Manemone. Yeah, um, I probably, uh, would, uh, would, would agree. I, like, I, I need to go into the Bible and see if there's some sort of loophole that I can, like, try, like, uh, like, get him to attack me in a duel. Oh, I still haven't even gotten around to Jordan Peterson. Born that way! Oh, fuck you. A striking example shows up in today's LGBTQ movement. As a whole, the movement seeks to redefine human rights to include almost any sexual preference or any gender feelings at any given moment. Mean. Cool. That sounds good. This is one of those times where, like, the 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 what the scales have gone around so so much that it's come round to the other side. You know what I mean? Like when you push the scales down so that like it's uh, it, it's like instead of showing 
you know, a hundred kilos, it's it's showing, you know, a thousand one hundred. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. LGBTQ revolutionaries, fuck yeah. Yes. Have co-opted the language of America's civil rights movement and equate the demand for equality of, of those with different innate ethnicities to the demand for equality for those of those with sex, various sexual preferences. They argue that just as people of all skin shades receive equal rights, so should people of diverse sexual inclinations or variant feelings of gender. Like, why not? Why, what, what's the problem? Like, obviously, we need to like talk about how the intersection of those things uh, changes with the rights with rights and also the history it's not as if like gay people want reparations like there, there's no I, I like I, I think that you have you're gonna find a very difficult case to argue for generational like wealth inequality um, there and a lot of other issues that affect things differently so like this just reads as normal. Um, advocates argue that the civil rights movement and today's LGBTQ crusade are essentially the same fight. They dogmatic dogmatically claim, oh, this is projection again, um, claim they're both fighting for the rights of the people, and that sexual preference and skin shade are the same fundamental issue. No. Wait, no? No, wait. Oh, okay, so they, they used race and LGBT and sexual preference to try and create a straw man argument, like, yeah. He's not an enemy. He's not even a lab dog. Yeah, he's pretty pretty dumb. The mission of the civil rights movement was good, true, and biblical. Um, every person, no matter their ethnicity, deserves unconditional equal treatment as an image bearer of the living God. The diverse and mutable physical traits that people possess from birth, such as skin shade, display God's beautiful creativity and in no way affect their inherent indelible value. Uh, however, an individual's sexual preference is just that preference it is a choice oh fuck you um no that's not uh, true there is no current currently no biological genetic basis for homosexuality what what Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. First, there is currently no biological genetic basis for homosexuality, and any future discovery to suggest a scientific basis would simply confirm the false corruption on mankind. Genesis 3. What's this? What's this? What's this like? It's not even a direct, it's not even a fucking, like, Bible passage. It's an article about the book of Genesis. Fucking hell. What the fuck? Source? What we say about the Bible. Fucking hell. This is a fishing website. <laughs> nope, this is a teaching resource. This is quite literally a teaching resource. See? Spy space junk. Where did it this is the kids section, by the way. What happened to the dinosaurs? What and really happened? happened to the dinosaurs? Many people are perplexed by the topic of dinosaurs. Where did they come from? When did they live? What happened to them? You see, when you dig up a dinosaur skeleton, it doesn't come with a label attached saying, Hi, I'm 65 million years old and this is what happened to me. We have to interpret that skeleton in relation to the past. So where did dinosaurs come from? What happened to them? When did they live? I want to show you that when you take God at his word in the book of Genesis, that we can explain dinosaurs and observational science actually can. Can someone understand why he looks like a fucking Neanderthal? Like, I'm not talking about like just insulting him because uh, I will use any insults for this man, but literally, his face is shaped his his forehead and 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 the, the hair on his fucking face he looks both like a neanderthal and he looks like a fucking serial killer who would probably like r murder tourists in the fucking outback far out he looks like mick from wolf creek confirms that explanation based upon the
because these people, the Sun Sword 3, because my nephew came home last week and argued with his dad, my brother, about the fact that the world is only 6,000 years old and that humans ex walked with dinosaurs. These people who make teaching resources for kids don't believe in evolution. Bible. See, the Bible tells us that God made the land animals on day six of creation. And who else was created on day six? These people are fundamentalists. And to, to, to make, to make um, happy, Puritan happy, they take the Bible literally. They are literal fundamentalists, so if that helps. Six, well, Adam and Eve. And how long ago was that? Well, when you add up all the dates in the Bible, about 6,000 years. So yes. taking God at his word. In yeah. Yes, yes. And like, I'm going to be looking into it as well. Because this is fucked, the fact that they're teaching this. This is fucked. Genesis, dinosaurs live beside people. Yeah. About six but Emily, this we are getting American brain rot more and more because of the the propagation of the internet. It, it's kind of it's frightening actually, um, because this 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 is also teaching kids about um, LGBT people and also I am I am transgender. Yay. Age of the Earth. Bible videos. Creation scientist videos. Oh. Uh, answers. Fucking jump scare. <laughs> I would like to see, I'm going to try, um, If anyone sees um, anything to do with um, um, gay people, I would love to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Devotionals. Family devotional time. What did God make? What happened after Adam sinned? Does God love all nations? Why do we all need a savior? Who is our neighbor? How should we treat others? Is heaven real? Six God building our huge ship. Let there be lights. Give thanks. Um, who is Jesus? Jesus, Jesus. Shall show us extreme plants? No joy, joy. Thank God for who he is. Happy Christmas. Why should we study the Bible? Tell the truth about the future? Fucking hell. This is all like Old Testament stuff as well. You just say about the scriptures, the land, the land of the Bible, the dinosaur, trust God, thank God, fear God, uh, obey God, stand for God. That'll be interesting. Uh, wisdom, foolishness, wise foolishness, huh? Um, wise ears, wise hearts. You're thinking correctly. Okay. 
I, I, I mean, like, Menemone, if you, if that was directed at me, at me then I agree. I do uh, think incorrectly. That's that I have, I have a mental disability. Ah. Menemone. It's not called peer pressure. It's called anthropology. And etymo etymo etymology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can... At least they don't seem to have any, like, anti-LGBT bullshit in the, um... In, in, like, the kids section. Oh, no. Life on Mars, no. This is awful. Yeah, this is the, yeah, this is pretty fucking awful. Kid friendly language adds to them. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything directly there. Why didn't Jesus preach in America? What? Why is that? Is that an actual question that kids have? Yeah, just for killing kids in tonight. In, in a, yeah. And also how how breaking it is when they come home with this cult indoctrination. It's ridiculous. It's disgusting. Isn't that like the belief? Are people fighting? Don't fight each other. You're only allowed to fight me. Oh my gosh, they believe in the Tower of Babel as more than just a fable. Crocodiles, okay. Oh, this is a thing. Ah! Jump scare. Ah! Yeah, fuck these people. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to try and get through um, some stuff. Um, I'm just going to take a quick break, but I will be right back. After I get back, we'll uh, hopefully uh, be able to get a little bit through um, the Jordan Peterson uh, bullshit. Mm. Mm. Yummy. So don't go anywhere, or do. Stop fighting. <laughs> but either way, I will be back very shortly. Pogs in chat. What's up? Yeah. Milfism? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not a milf. I have been a motherfucker. BJs and JP. So Ben and Jerry's and 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 JP. I don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> Message to Pereg Agrawal, CEO of Twitter. Dear Mr. Agrawal. I just want to read this in the voice. Hold on. 
Dear Mr. Agrivo, I wrote this when it was I wrote this two in the morning. When it was during literally my recent visit two in the morning, in holy jokes. Greece, where I was on business attending to my efforts. <laughs> yeah, fuck Israel. On the educational front. Mm. I woke up suddenly from my slumbers with you and your company on my mind in my jet lagged state. I mean, just look at what happens. When you start using your wallet to vote, suddenly politicians try and make it illegal to do that. Ho oh! As soon as it affects capital, they won't allow you to do it. Unable to drowse further, and so I sat there writing instead of sleeping, which the more cautious and sensible. Yeah, bro. Who took the rest of your jacket? Part of me wished devoutly I was able to do instead. A few weeks ago, the wise folks at Twitter deemed it necessary to suspend my access to that platform. Despite it's the fact you. that I had several million followers, despite the fact that I had used the platform in good faith, despite the fact that I had put in the years of time and effort necessary to gain such an extensive following. Despite the fact, as well, that I was a genuine force on Twitter, trending with a rather appalling and frightening degree of regularity. In many ways, I'm your monster, sir. The reason for the suspension? It's... That's all I can think of. That's all I can think of this entire time. I don't even know who you are. Job scape. Ah! Not exactly clear, because very little is exactly clear, Mr. Agrawal, with regard to your social media network, apart from the fact that you allow an awful lot of misbehavior. What with the appalling proliferation of anonymous and- Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. You allow an awful amount of misbehavior. I need, I need, I need Jordan Peterson. Um, I need Jordan Peterson fan art of uh, him as a dominatrix. Now, wait, does that exist? Does that exist already? Uh, 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 ah, jump scare. Sorry. Um, mm, I need to know if this exists. You're not going to see it until I. An appalling proliferation. Ah. You've been a naughty, naughty boy, haven't you? Hmm. You've been... You, the, what's with the appalling proliferation of anonymous callers? I need you to get your on your knees and bark like a puppy! Um... You both... Get on your knees and bark like Pinocchio! But Pinocchio didn't bark... I TOLD YOU TO BARK LIKE A PINOCCHIO! Fuck you, woke moralist! <laughs> well, there's, there's enough emojis being a not joke. Yeah, I know, right? Um, what was I going to look for? Yeah, Jordan Peterson. Wait, what's the... Does anybody know what the best... Um... No. no. What's the best... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, AI... Art generator right now. You need the left and the right because the left innovate while the right runs organizes things. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's the, so which one is the good one? So there's uh, what's the best one? What's the best one? What's the best one? Dolly 2. There's Dolly 2. Dolly 2 Mini. Open AI. Mini. There's the new one soon, isn't there? Crayon, formerly 
Dolly Mini. I don't know if it will, it'll work, but uh, let's see. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> that thing keeps on jump scaring me. I don't even know who you are. And here we go. Near demonic trolls and bots. Dem demonic. Professional manipulation demonic. of the public space. There's a new actors, one though that's like really, really Russian powerful. Chinese governments and the proclivity of your own people to censor only those voices they don't agree with. Politically, oh, for fuck's sake. the tweet that brought about my suspension was one directed, for better or worse, at the actress slash actor Ellen, now Elliot Page, who I criticized, along with his or her physician, for publicly trumpeting and publicizing the decision to have her perfectly functional breasts removed in the attempt to switch sexes. This is horrific. What the fuck? What's with his little hand? I think I found. All right, hold on. All right, take the screenshot. This is your new profile pic. Oh, this one. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, he's had his eyes gouged out. Wow. Dolly, this is dark. And why do you keep on giving him a moustache? Does he normally have a moustache? Oh, he does. Fuck. So weird. Let's see what it comes up with again. Holy shit, amazing. Which decision was up to him or her, and appropriately, I at least half suppose, but which also served as a much publicized, more than a million and a half Instagram likes, model for confused adolescents who might be considering, in their juvenile confusion, walking down the same direly and irreversibly damaging road. I don't think for a moment that it was even the criticism per se that resulted in my ban. How, like, many times do I need to say this? Like, kids are not getting irreversibly damaged. What the fuck? Dolly! Okay, this is the closest one. There you go. There's your Jordan. That's Jordan Peterson as in a, as a, as as yeah. Um. There you go. Oops. There you go, y'all. You can you can pick that up in the Discord. You can pick that up in the Discord if you want. You creepy fucks. <laughs> yep. That's in the Discord now. Fucking hell. What the fuck has he got a flying book for? He's got a magical flying book. Yeah, yeah, I know, but like, I didn't want to go there. Oh, fucking wow. I don't know if it, what this is going to give me. I'm scared. Dolly 2. Oh, it's a waitlist. Blame. Ah! Jump scare. <laughs> but my use of Ellen's original name, a practice which the exceptionally active, yet exceptionally tiny and noisy and endlessly troublesome trans activist so-called community has decided to term dead naming and which has, in consequence, become, by their anarchic and presumptuous fiat... Okay. Okay.
I wonder if anyone's got a link to a compilation of this. A fired weatherman accused of using a racial slur on air is now defending himself. Jeremy Kappel of News 10 NBC says he simply jumbled his own words when referring to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Square Park in downtown Rochester. Rochester's uh, mayor, Love Salted Moore, Caramel City Brownie. Council President Loretta Scott called mm. for Kappel's firing on Sunday. The station's vice president and GM Richard Reingold confirmed his dismissal in a statement Monday. I cannot search this. Ah, fuck off! Uh, I can't say it online. I can't say it. I can't actually say it. Our city. And our county has been subjected to the greatest pressures I think any community in the country has had to withstand. We've had in our area here outside agitation groups of all levels. We've had Martin Luther King, uh, King pardon me, sir, Martin, Martin Luther King. We now, so this happened over and over and over, white people on air making that same thing, same mistake over and over. Smacks to me like he's doing exactly the same by saying she, her, him, and pretending to flab flop his words about. Yeah, this doesn't work. Oh, what? But I don't know. Do I? Because your idiot policies of arbitrary exclusion are unbelievable. Oh, just some fucking white guy. Ill defined. Thus, I don't, I don't, I honestly, I don't care. He's dead now. Hopefully. Um, or at the very least, irrelevant. The opportunity to face my accuser or just like accusers. this man will be one day. Is there just one? Are there many? Who are they exactly? Are they inside or outside of Twitter? Why have they been granted this decision making power? And I continue not to know, even though I followed your equally ill-defined and parameterized appeal process with regard to this censorious... Ill-defined and parameterized. Like, you, you're just saying words. All you needed to say there is like... And I continue not to know. <sighs> Even though I followed your equally ill-defined and parameterized appeal process... Just say shitty appeal process. Talk like a real human being, you dumbass. ...with regard to this censorious and judgmental action. In fact, there was a character who's written exactly like this. I don't know if anyone's watched Tintin, but one of the main things from the Sea Captain, like, I can't remember what the Sea Captain's, like, name is, but, like, the joke was that the Sea Captain used big words to sound smarter than he really was. That's the joke. And... I'm sure there's a German word for that. Undertaken in the shadowy background of your equally shadowy company. As I have yet to hear anything at all from the powers that be at Twitter on that appeal. Comment. You and everybody else, dickhead. But I know absolutely that you know personally of my suspension. And that you have been questioned about that. Because I have been told by a very good and exceedingly influential friend of mine who spoke directly to you very recently that he asked you just exactly what in hell you were thinking when you banned me. And I also have heard that an equally or even more influential person with whom you have also recently had very public dealings which did not turn out well for your... Um, you know what? Calling it right now, he noticed a, tw he noticed a tweet or two of like he, he elon musk probably tweeted about it and now and he's bringing that up in this word fucking nonsense Company has raised exactly the oh, same i bet it concerns. was a shame and i also know but the tintin movie was pretty fucking amazing like cine like obviously had its pr problematic aspects as well but like it was a amazing film it felt like 
it, it it was everything that you could ever want from an animated action feature like that i haven't really seen from animated films before or since that your demented and presumptuous minions have their eagle eye oh, i don't want to account, know happy puritan or that a I can of imagine. influential activists is monitoring my online behavior on twitter assiduously despite my banning how exactly have i come by this information well two days ago i deleted the ellen page tweet why but he backtracked he deleted it when i said ah! quite publicly that i would rather die than do so well I needed to do some house cleaning on my account in relationship to some other tweets I had posted many months ago. Okay. A relatively minor matter, uh -huh. but one that became a uh -huh. somewhat pressing <laughs> Sure, sure. Afterward, I oh, reposted no. a screenshot of the page tweet stating that I was obliged to do so as I had given my word that I would not delete it despite my suspension and the attempt at public shaming that that suspension hypothetically constituted and bingo within hours i was banned again so your staff can act pretty damn fast when it comes to registering and reacting to my hypothetical oh no it's it, 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 shame i i am absolutely 100 percent sure that there was that also um fucking uh, asterisks i had the same Asterisk had the same, um, the comics had the same, like, depiction of black people. Like, it, it, it's all the watermelon and fucking big lips shit. Um, it's disgusting, but, like, what do you expect from a French cartoon? Misbehavior, but are pretty darn slow when it comes to, say, responding in any manner whatsoever to the appeal I submitted, objecting to the ban. Or at least raising questions. So, so your complaint—he's—he's he's complaining that he got banned for doing for like like trying to circumvent a ban. Literally, he's being banned for breaking terms of service, circumventing a ban, which is what he did. It's about its rationale. Now, I was those Belgian. Oh, sorry. Opposed to my views. My apologies. And indeed, the fact of my very existence might object and do so frequently and vociferously on your hellhole of a platform. Hey, self-proclaimed evil ah. capitalist and proclaimer of the value of free speech, the CEO of free market Twitter and his propagandistic minions have the right to allow or disallow anyone. I they thought that you liked the free market. Come on. Choose to post on. Their oh, you like the free market when it's controlled by white men. Yeah, that's right. Own platform. I forgot about that. And that is true. You and they see that care with pronouns, have that right, but have also clearly accepted a commensurate, although more implicit responsibility, in principle at least. True, Menemone. The only people who like the free market are people who don't understand how it works. Twitter is a platform that owes its very existence or um, do understand how it works, or they just, like, performatively, like, talk about it. To the habit, tradition, and right of free speech. Also, I'm going to clickbait more option, more, more often. My um, viewers, like, jumped to, like, 15 at one point after I put BJs and JP on top. So I'm going to do that more often. So speech, the very foundation stone of the great country in which you operate, and has, as the only possible justification for that existence, outside of sheer instrumental greed, its hypothetical contribution to the exchange of views that make up part of philosophical and political discourse, and humor and wit and indeed- Oh yeah. The narcissistic- This is, this is what I have um, while I'm doing right here. Yeah. ...that accompanies such exchange, particularly in its electronically mediated form. And I would say- it's the only pocket I can get bigger, bigger than big enough to put my phone in. Hey, um, I will be um, your relatively soon. Does a remarkably and singularly bad job of bearing that responsibility, as your former security lead has just fortuitously pointed out in an interview in Time magazine, which is not exactly a bastion of the conservative or even classic liberal thought that you seem to oppose so randomly 
arbitrarily, <laughs> casually, high-handedly, <laughs> and inappropriately. Peter Zatko, your former security lead, has painted, in the words of that same Time magazine, quote, a damning portrait of a company in crisis. In an 84-page complaint damning. to federal regulatory agencies and the Department of Justice, which was first reported by the Washington Post and CNN, and which Time obtained from a congressional source, he describes Twitter as crippled by rudderless and dishonest leadership, beset by egregious privacy and security flaws, tainted by foreign influence, a danger to national security, and susceptible... Okay, um, Americans, stop acting as though um, the internet is America, for one thing. Um, it's always fucking hilarious for everyone else around the world, like when you talk about like the First Amendment, as if like we should give a fuck about that. So like it it you look like it a fucking tool because you like not thinking about anything outside of America. It's kind of fucking gross. So d do better. Well, even yeah, to total. It's like a bit like Australia. Oh my gosh, I wish we would stop that, but we get it from you. Collapse. That's a lot of flaws, Mr. Agrawal. For someone who also seems to believe. That the arbitrary suspension of the truly bad people, I watched, such as myself, I learned it by watching is a you. necessity to keep the sphere of public discourse <laughs> pristine. And uh, actually, actually, you know, like I'm actually uh, pausing this for a second because I'm actually getting starting to get excited. I'm picking up um, a couple of monitor brackets because um, I realized that I could attach them to the underside of my table and. Attach the other end to this instead. So literally, I could have this like wherever I want, like attach the underside of the table and like have it like at any height I want, adjustable, adjustable. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to be getting back. I'm going to be getting into some Star Citizen at some point. So don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Um, well, not just that, Hoda streaming, what about this? I could always do some streaming with this on. Huh? Yeah? Yeah? I've set up, um, I've set up, um, uh, Steam VR, uh, uh, Skyrim VR. So I can play Skyrim VR as well. Um, I want to do Star Citizen though. Um, but I need money. <laughs> Five dollars a month. Nah, but like, um, seriously though, like, I'll need to save up before moving to Star Citizen because I want to uh, upgrade my base package um, to have a better thing. Got a hookup offer on Facebook for a price of course, don't know, but it's time to give to trade. It. it is. There's no Australian constitution in the similar. Keep them HOTUS and headset strapped. I mean, like, we, we, we... <sighs> yeah. But, like, why are we still doing better than you, though, in America? Or, like, whoever's in America. Why are we still doing better than Americans when you've got, like, fruit worms? Yeah. I love that. You might game. also point out, since we're talking about moral insufficiency, that your recent discussions with Elon Musk didn't fare so well, did they? Since your. <laughs> he's, he's just like, hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a scam. The company seemed utterly unable or unwilling to specify even the percentage of fake mm. bot accounts active on Twitter. Yeah. A supporter of Twitter might object. Mr. Musk was just looking for the way out of a bad deal. I personally find that argument weak to the point of preposterousness. It's not at all obvious to me that Mr. Elon Musk is anyone's fool particularly not Twitter's. And one thing that absolutely remarkable man did oh, I've got heaps of time. the world just how troubled your much vaunted and incredibly so troublesome... So I'll be, I'll, I won't have to leave the house until um, about um, 11.30, which is just, just under an hour. So, hells yeah.
All right, what are we doing here? Uh, this Twitter is on my lawn with your, with your, my shot. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I would love to play more games, uh, but to afford them, I need money. <laughs> Social media network really is. $50 for an hour of fuck time. Like, what, for you to pay them? Oh, honey. Honey. She deserves more. Pay them 200 for the half hour. 200 for the half hour. Don't be, don't be, don't be fucking shortchanging your sex workers. Yes. Everything that is the entire problems come from the US problems where our summers were. We're going to remember that about turning around to be little brats. What? <laughs> I don't get it. Monster Hunter World with guests in the near future? Ooh. You're wanting to play that. Well, okay. Well, I mean, we've got a few choices here. I could um, spend like uh, an hour trying to set up my hoto sticks um because obviously setting that up is a bitch i could spend however long it takes to set up um skyrim vr um or i can jump into another video game um so i'm gonna leave that the choice up to you um i'm gonna put a put a poll up because jordan peterson is actually pretty boring right now <laughs> And when I stand up, like, my my shirt is more see-through, so, just saying. Um, I don't poll. Oh, yeah, are human rights ever wrong? Let's find out. The fuck are you asking? Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, that's, yay, I love my community. I love my community. All right. Da -da 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 -da. What game? Good. Play. Da 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 da. Skyrim. Yeah. Creation. Do, do, what is it called? What's that game called? Mm. <laughs> I mean, I disagree with a lot of that, but I don't really want to go into it because it's boring right now. <sighs> Did Russia want to initiate a nuclear war? Yes. Uh, uh, I kind of need that to be backed up with something. What the fuck? I think, I think, I think that might, that, that, that I, I need, I need, that needs receipts. That needs receipts. Is inv Russia invading people right now? Yes. So is Australia. So is America. Like what so is china like yeah everyone's fucking doing it and we're doing it the worst i mean doesn't make it any less wrong but like the the u.s like okay so just because they're not invading anyone right now the results of their recent invasions of uh, iraq and afghanistan have no re no long-term ramifications It, it it doesn't compare. It just doesn't. It doesn't compare, and it's only a matter of time before their imperialist project moves on. They find another country to fuck with. It's 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 it like yeah. Country that invited us to to be their military, they didn't pay for the service, so we have to enjoy vacation. Fuck. I would have loved to be va to vacation in Kabul back in the nineteen seventies before it got fucked up by both Russia and the US. That would have been nice, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, like... Uh, 
Russia is the, the the idea that a that that any country wants to instigate a nuclear war like I need I need I need the proof of that because there's only one country which has ever has documented evidence of wanting to drop a nuke there's one country in the fucking world one that has any documented evidence of them wanting to nuke another place. Do you know what the name of that country is? It is the US of A. So until you can give similar evidence that another country has that, ev that, that another country is trying to instigate it, that'd be nice. <sighs> Yeah, the Warsaw Pact, yeah. Russia signed it, yeah. Uh, like, and? Wait, that that's just a, that's a completely different topic. It's a different topic. Wait, what? That's a different topic. That's not what we're talking about. I'm confused. Okay. It's a trick question. Well, not when it's not when you're using context. Like, if you're going to ignore the context of the question within the conversation, then like, you are obviously talking about the fact that um, Russia, that the USSR initially support uh, Stalin initially supported uh, Hitler. Yeah. So did most of the other countries around the world. What's your point? Okay. Yeah. The Warsaw Pact is for a different events of a period of 300 years. Um, oh, fuck. Like, I don't... I, my knowledge of history doesn't go that far back. I'm still looking for the evidence that Russia wanted to instigate nuclear war because that, that's an insane uh, combination of words to me. It does not make sense. Also, I've already polled. No one's... Po no one's... No one's... No one's voting. No one's voting. No one's voting. Don't make me have to consume, have to like come up with what to do next. Ooh, got one for calls of the lamb. Dun, dun, dun. Also, um, uh, what was it? You dropped? Did you drop? I read earlier. Um, <sighs> links, 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 links. Ah. Why can't I go further back? Is there like a limit to like how much I can go back in the chat? Because that's annoying. Right, if it is uh, the case. Sorry, Hosa. Hosa, it looks like you uh, posted something. Dropped a link earlier, just a minor topic. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't see the uh, link. Neither side. Of, I don't think anyone wants nuclear war. Yeah, but Russian invasion doesn't equal like what wanting to have nuclear war. Seems weird to me. Ooh, Skyrim VR. We got a fifty-fifty split. Da -na 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 -na. Why did I run it for ten minutes? That's so long. I need a short react. Alright. Ah! Fucking hell, I'm closing that thing. It's not every day that someone making history draws by to have a drink. And some barbecue at your bar. Kevils and Ellen fr Who's Ellen from now on? I don't know who this is. Um... Oh, leftist values test! Alright, we've got it. <sighs> Mm 
Let's count the countries that Russia has invaded and then those countries um, switch to neoliberal shock doc doctrine um, and experience quality of life, improved prosperity and, and progress to become relevant on the world stage. Yeah, agreed, Menemini. Sorry, I added a little bit of context to that sentence so that it would make more sense, but yeah. Let's count the amount of ones which, which got uh, the shock, shock doctrine um, imposed upon them. Russia. Russia. Ozzy says Russia like Russia. I wasn't listening to your garbage KGB bullshit. Yes, that's right. I am tanky. Apparently, I, 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 I am, I am the, I am the mythic. Uh, what do you call them? Mecha tanky. I am the mythic mecha tanky. All right. Class conflict is a force that has influenced much of human history. Uh, yes, we must radically alter our food consumption in order to alter our food consumption. Uh, yeah, I guess I kind of agree. Class conflict is, it is a force that has influenced much of, wait, what? Yeah, I did, oh, okay. Mass spontaneous actions are more effective than carefully planned actions. Disagree. Uh, uh, the oppression of LGBTQ plus people is a major issue, needs to be seriously addressed, of course. Measures to address environmental issues are un unacceptable if they result in significant decreases in production and... Um, Production and quality of life. I uh, disagree. Uh, yeah, I was joking. Oh, wait, what? Oh, what am I? Also, I'm going to put pull that back a bit. Um, the negative consequences of a revolution generally outweigh the advantages. Disagree. The religions overall have a mostly positive effect and should remain influential in society. Neither do agree or disagree. Modern social democracy is a betrayal of left-wing values. Agree. Uh, abortion is an immoral act. Disagree. Revolutionary violence is acceptable as long as the final outcome is positive. Uh, capitalism will induce its own demise through contradictions that result in crisis. Agreed. Any socialist country should be des dedicated to exporting their ideology, ideology abroad. Uh, well, yeah, of course. Um, the principles of workplace democracy and self-management are desirable. Agreed. People of similar cultures should, should unite in federations or confederations. Uh, uh, culture. I don't know. Uh, it is necessary to establish a dictatorship, a dictatorship of the proletariat. There's a transitionary stage between capitalism and socialism. Yep. Uh, democratic centralism is an authoritarian organizational structure that disregards the masses. Uh, yep. Uh, d climate change is a major global threat that all socialists... Wait, hold on. Yeah, I agree. Um, climate change is a major global threat that all socialists must fiercely combat. Workplace democracy within capitalism is an acceptable... Um, is is an alternative to a complete socialization of the con like. I mean, it's not an acceptable one. It's like a necessary one. Uh, foreign officials. This is apparently the left values test. Foreign officials have no right to dictate policy in another country. Disagree. Yeah, of course, disagree. We need to we need to be collaborative with the way we work with other countries. Just like we need to be collaborative at every fucking level of government. What the fuck? Ridiculous. Experimental, environmentally friendly food sources like cultured meat are worth um, investing in. Yeah, fuck yeah. Socialist organizations are generally generally better off when organized loosely and decentrally. Yes, agreed. Um, prisons are oppressive. Oppressive. Yes. Um, Wait, hold on. Yes. Uh, the global socialist movement should be led by a single party, party or organization. Should be led by a single party organization. Um, disagree. Ah. Uh, the state can be best defined as a monopoly on violence and oppression. Yep. Agreed. 
Some small scale destruction of nature is acceptable if it notably benefits humanity. Yes. Liberal democracy is a viable way of achieving a socialist society. No. You cannot achieve socialist society without making significant social progress. Agree. Government should be capable of assigning individuals to workplaces. Disagree. Socialism can only be fully achieved in developed industrialized societies. Disagree. Bureaucracy and inefficiently always inherent for inherent in centrally planned economies. Well, yes, but they're still. This is this is a stupid question. It's a stupid question. Like yes, yes, they're always inherent, but they're always inherent in every other system as well. It's just a, it's just a stupid question. Do is does inefficiency and bureaucracy exist? Yes. Ah. Oh, the poll ended. We got 50-50 between Cult of the Lamb and setting up uh, Skyrim VR. Damn it. We need a tiebreaker. Flip a coin. It is possible to feasibly convince the ruling class to conform... <laughs> no. Only two people voted. Ah, uh, no. It's also because I turned off um, the bits to the spending bits thing. Uh, trade unions and workers councils should form the basis of a socialist society. Um, not sure. Uh, a socialist government. Uh, I mean, like it should be a part of it, but like basis. Be good at work. Pack your lot. <laughs> yeah. Socialist government has no right to disrupt uh, religious or cultural traditions in any situation. Yep, gonna have to disagree with that. The reason I disagree with that is because some some cultural traditions and some religious traditions are like uh, damaging towards people's psyche or bodies, like in ways which do not benefit society. So, like, they should be there should be an intervention there. Yeah, hundred percent, especially when fundies jumps into shit and talk about uh, abortion, uh, making abortion illegal, being some kind of religious freedom. So yeah, obviously. Uh, the means of production such as factories and farms, yeah, shouldn't be publicly owned, yeah. Revolution is the best way of achieving a socialist society. Well, it's never happened any other way. Um, the establishment of the socialism is a gradual process rather than an instant or rapid, rapid one, agreed as well. Uh, socialist political parties should participate in liberal dem democratic uh, elections. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Social, like the government should, like the government should be able to step in to that. But like, you know, collaboratively, like it would be a different style of government as well. So like, we have more say over our, our own bodies. Um, monkey game from the moon. I assume Anemone is talking about cult polygamy, like uh, Mormonism, uh, which it's generally very it it overlaps with um, child marriage in almost a uh, it, with a Venn diagram that almost looks like a circle. So when 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 the two things are almost exactly the same, get rid of both. Um. Well, yeah, that's a good point as well, Menemini. But like the overlap between polygamy and um, the um, and and child mar legalized child uh, child pros like child ownership and um, rape um, is is almost a perfect circle. So, socialist political parties should participate in liberal democratic elections. Yes, the establishment of socialism is. Oh, a uh, highly centralized planned economy is not socialism, but rather state capitalism. Uh, complicated. Yeah, exactly. From each according to his ability to each according to his needs is a good principle. Uh, a world socialist republic is a realistic and desirable goal. Realistic? No. Desirable? Yes. 
neither agree nor disagree. Oppressed peoples have the right to engage in a violent uprising arising when all other options have been exhausted. No shit. It is acceptable for humanity to suffer some notable full extent, extent to, in order to preserve the natural ecosystem. Yes, marriage is a patriarchal uh, social con construct which should be phased out. Disagree. Uh, material conditions and needs are the dominant drivers behind socio-economic socio changes. Uh, the fact that so many workers vote for b Bush b bougie uh, parties uh, over socialist parties is proof that party politics are no longer relevant. Uh, disagree. Disagree. Fucking hell, Americans. Um, in under underdeveloped societies, essentially, planned economy is the best way to make rapid progress. Well, yes. Only a mass workers party can achieve any meaningful long-term goals. Yeah. Uh, it will be important to implement um, extensive environmental protections as part of achieving socialism, yes. Uh, the international proletariat belongs to no country. Agree. Um, mass foreign immigration policies are naive and should not be implemented. Agree. It is foolish to expect renewable energy sources to be able to replace fossil fuels disagree that is it is ridiculous to think that we can continue using fossil fuels um yeah monkey game for the moon i i i agree but like polygamy only works when you put it in that bubble in reality like you 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 need to look at more than just the moral aspects of the situation and actually look at the material effects when the results of polygamy are like, object, like not objectively, but like when when you can like come to a consensus that actually this isn't actually improving in society. In fact, like most of the time, it's like connected with child marriages within these communities. Like it, it it's just not something that should be like allowed. it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be like I'm not saying it should be it should be illegal, but like. <sighs> Having protections on it and actually having intervention on it is important. Uh, local planners rather than national planners are more efficient um, than at running a planned economy. Ah, collaboration. I disagree and agree, but total economic and social equality is realistically possible to to achieve. Fuck no. Um, centrally planned economy based around computers is a concept worth investigating. Well, no shit. That's all already something which really works. Fucking hell. Uh, we must uh, accept that socialist states of the 20th century failed to seriously address environmental issues. Agreed. Uh, I'd be willing to f sacrifice economic resources in my home country in order to help other countries. No shit. Socialist revolution is made inevitable by the conditions of capitalism. Oh, disagree. No, fucking hell. Yeah. Uh, the leadership of the political parties are the, in the progression towards uh, socialism will always uh, lead to authoritarianism. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, trade unionism has like, been largely corrupted by the ruling class and is no longer a viable structure for a socialist organization. Disagree slightly. Uh, traditional gender role, roles such as women being homemakers need to be overcame. Yes. Economy is designed better better when it's organized bottom up rather than top down. Agreed. Personal motor vehicles should, such as cars should be replaced with free, free public transport. Yes. Humanity must return with, to the primitive ways of the past to overcome long term climate issues. Fuck no. Uh, redistributing wealth away from the wealthy through taxes is a viable way of defeating defeating inequality. No, um, labor is not in sexual slavery. Labor doesn't go down to raise families or recursive of Yeah, uh, Nationalism and patriot patriotism are impulses that are unacceptable in a socialist society. I agree. Uh, reforming capitalist society to achieve better rights for work workers is desirable. Yep, agreed. Uh, national liberation or self-determination for all peoples is a good concept. Yes. 
Uh, industrializing farming practices must be abolished, even if it leads to lower outputs. No. Open borders between like-minded socialist countries is desirable, of course. Minority populations should receive special legal protections, agreed. A society is chiefly driven by individuals and ideas, disagree. Um, human population growth must be curbed to prevent an ecological disaster, disagree. And finish. Very revolutionary, very scientific. Like very much between Marxist and Utopian, which I kind of disagree with that juxtaposition because Utopianism is an important factor, part of Marxism. I don't understand that. Um, neutral, but the only reason I'm neutral on this, I think, is um, with, um, you know, the, the left values test, right? Because revolution, obviously, I will always support revolution as the actual option and I'll always support reform in the meantime doesn't I can do I, I can walk and run at the same time um utopianism isn't anti marxist or anti science so I don't really understand this 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 juxtaposition if we're talking between scientific and um ideological uh, ideological uh, I understand but utopianism doesn't necessarily mean that it's not scientific it means like always trying to create better practices to work towards. Um, centralized government, well, I mean, like, that's the only reason I have centralized government in here is because I don't, I, until there's becomes, we come up with, like, a perfect anarchist way of sets, of creating a revolution, uh, that's going to be the only way we do it. Um, internationalist, well, no brainer. Neutral between the party and the union, yay! We should be, like, collaborative. Uh, ecological, yes, very progressive, apparently. Eco-Marxism. Ah. Mm. Yeah, nationalism should be abolished. The only useful thing for nationalism is to is is for um, armies because it's easier to get people to kill other people when they're patriotic. What is the time? Got another twenty minutes. Wait, what was I playing? Let's play that game. I don't think I'll have enough time to set up the BR anyway. I just need to... Bible men? <laughs> no. I can't change my category again. Fucking hell. There we go. Why is it not running? Oh, it's downloading. Yeah, true, Minemi. We, we do recreate those things. That's why it needs to be an active 
like an actual active um, effort to try and work against those things that that the things that are not like the, the, the genetically inherent within us need to be actively like worked towards basically huh? holy shit the game is still updating don't forget to use your channel points to make it cool Uh, I wouldn't call that scientific view. So I was... ah. Sorry. We evolved past the pack logic to be collaborative outside of our pack. It's just, it's just like, yeah, like that, that is like yeah i i don't i i don't believe in biological essentialism when it comes to social issues social issues social social darwinism is cringe social darwinism is cringe um biological essentialism is cringe at the end of the day we have gone we, we're past that we're past that now we evolved parts of the brain which allow us to communicate effectively with each other in ways that animals don't like animals that aren't human don't be past it and stop pooping and like if you want to compare us with animals and what's natural dogs eat their own shit like my point being pointing at how most of the species on earth behave and then pointing to things which aren't biological parts of our like like selves is as something which is unnatural or outside nature is a bad way of approaching a scientific discussion of how to improve society it, it basically it's like circular logic in a sense can and have I, I, Happy Puritan, I read that in the most redneck voice ever. Precisely, but most polygamy in the world isn't the image you had of queer polygamy. Oh my gosh, it's still updating. Fuck. <laughs> From your queer polyamory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah. Sorry, I'm just still waiting for the thing to download. It's it's downloading or updating or doing something. I'm a queer. Get that queer. Get them get them crackers in you. Yeah. I'm talking about like shapes, not like having sex with rednecks. So. Da na 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 na. What is ultimate cheese? Poly people. That sound. Yeah, I. I mean, like, I watched part of Poly people that one time. Mmm. Only two things come out of Texas: queers and sneers. Oh. oh. No. I do watch her sometimes. Were you here when I helped to win the debate with, um, with, uh, Fabian? Because that was hilarious. Wow, loud. Controller recommended.
There it is. Watch out! Wow! Ooh. Ooh, I saw you. Hey, Brody. Oh yeah, you're my friend. Oh, this guy doesn't like me. Oh, okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, I can't, can't re-educate him today. Alright. to do now. Okay, what I'm doing. Oh, it pauses. Hold on a second. Don't forget to do the, 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 the Twitch integration stuff. I'm just moving my display out of the way so I can see it a bit better. Ooh. Totem contributions, that's what I'm looking for. Can I build shit? Is there anything I can build? Um, no, I need coins. Aww. Ooh, coins? No. Coins? No. Co coin? No. No coins. Anything cool in here, though? Faith? Decorations? <gasps> Ooh, I can build decorations! Flag of the crown, flag of the crown, flag of the crown. Flag of the crown, flag of the, flag of the crown. Uh Honestly, Happy Puritan, like that that that's like I would prefer just making it hard for people to be um in relationships that are like that have a unmatched uh, power dynamic. So like I would have less of a problem with that if the man had, like, didn't have, like, power over them, you know what I mean? Or, like, have a disproportionate level of power. Hey, right, come here. Come here, you little shit! Here we go. Hello! Aww. A minced... Minced follower mate?! No. I ain't going Fuck no, you asshole. I'm not gonna, like, make it out of someone. Holy shit. The fuck is wrong with you? The fuck? Asshole. You get too horny on repulse? Oi! Thanks for the contribution, hoser for life. Yeah, it's day 16! Now I need to make you happier. Eh. Yes, re-education. Ah, he's still angry. I'm trying to re-educate him, but it's not working. Oh, hello. them HRT, yes, for the trans agenda! Oh yeah, that's right, I need to... You all need to be faithful. Seven time! Mom yum I need to... You have a cannibal dude hanging out with your sheep. Is that a really... <laughs> yeah. No, but like... 
I refuse to let them eat people. Uh, so, vampiric weapons. Ooh, I can get through Might of the Devout too. Oh yeah, I'd be packing that holster. <clears throat> You're up, my babies. Y'all are awesome. And I love you all. Alright, what do we got here? We got declare new doctrine. I can declare a new doctrine. Ooh. Time to declare sustenance. Animal trait? Fuck you, grass eater trait. No negative faith when a follower eats a meal made from grass. Yes! Vegetarian cult! <laughs> Vegetarian harem? Alright, we done it. We done. Y'all, y'all, they love me! They really, really love me! Alright, um... Let's go. I need a bed, by the way. And to buy this guy. Wait, which, which, which people was, was I up to? Oh, hello, this guy over here. Hello. So many mouths to feed, you must need some seeds! Oh, yeah. Give me some seeds, buddy. Rakshasa! So, ah! Oh. I've got all of those, though. Alright, let's fuck some shit up. Oh, shit, I need to leave soon. Very soon. Like, five minutes' time. No! Alright, um... Alright. Pew 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 pew. Nope. Attacking me! I refuse! Mushroom man. Ooh, menticide mushroom. Spore grotto. Nice. Oh, whoops. I kind of killed the dude. Sorry. I really didn't mean to kill you. I meant to kill you. Ted! No, sorry. Can't kill that anymore. All right, let's go down. Ooh, hello. I 
don't like the axes, they're too slow. I also don't like the um, controller. I much prefer the keyboard. Well, in that case, Happy Puritan, throw out the belief that you can exist without any form of discrimination and start working towards um, a hazard reduction um, standpoint rather than, you know, otherwise. If, if, uh, <laughs> if someone's always going to be, have uh, freedoms taken away, Figure out whose freedoms are worth the least, and take those away. Sounds pretty... thing. Oh, Hodas, fuck that. What? I'm supposed to give an offering? What's this? <gasps> Gold coins? Yes, please! I want to know what, what the offering is, though. Holy shit, yes. What happens if I give him an offering? Offering time. Hmm. Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh. 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 Asshole. Yeah, of course it was stolen. Hey. I'm have full health. Hey! My favorite dude. Two times more. Ooh, yes, please. Why is it attacking me? Stop that. Oh! It opens a poison portal every time I, sh I chop my sword. Well, I mean, that's the thing, like... Why should it be legalized? Why can't it be decriminalized? Ooh. Ooh. One, two, three, or four! One, two, three, or four, quickly. In the chat. One, two, three, or four. Engagement! Number three. I mean, yeah, that's a thing. That's why I don't, like, agree that, like, it should be abolished at the end of the day, like... It just seems like a... I don't see the point in a marriage being abolished in general. I think that moving away from requiring that is a better solution. Oh my gosh. That damn statue! I'm never giving gold again! Yay! 
yeah, it would slowly phase out by itself. Like, as a cultural thing, it shouldn't be abolished, but, like, the benefits relating to it, like, over other people, like, don't make sense. But when you look about at the reasons for the incentives, you look at white suppression, white supremacy, and other ideas, um, which kind of don't make sense. Ooh! That's why you wouldn't need to make uh, Christianity illegal, you just take away all of its tax-free status. Christianity is really popular in America because it makes money. Because, like, Christianity in America all basically worships um, uh, capitalism instead of God. Left or right? Left or right? Where do I go? Do I go left or do I go right? Okay. Love it. Hey -o. Abortion? I just thought it might be funny.
Let's get all the resources. All of them. I need them for my followers. I hard work hard so they can work hard for me. Liberate the memes of production. Why, did they get, like, banned or something? Yes, now I can collect fast! Okay, I like the dagger a lot more. No, I like this one. Have a little stab, I'll cut you! I'll cut you all! Running low on health. And time. Ah, oh, you're going to bed. It's good to see ya. Oh fuck, I'm out of the way. Oh gosh, I got go. Fork. Survive this round. Boss! I'm totes dead. Oh my gosh, no. Oh no! Woo. Oh gosh. Oh yeah.
Oh, come on. He just stood there. That's bullshit. I desperately need to use the loo as well, though. Yes, rise again. Alright, that is it for today, y'all. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, take care. Until I see you next time. Uh, next time, we'll, I'll either have my something set up or something else. Decide. Wait, Twitch is deciding my fate? What is this? Wait. Deciding my fate. They're angry at me. This isn't the first death. Re-educate. Where's the other dissenter? Oh well. Right. I shall see y'all next time. Stay safe. Until then, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. And take care of someone else. Bye-bye. <sighs> Bye-bye.